there. Now it's popping up. Okay. I think we're popping up here. It should have been called the Meta Gala. Now that you said my gala, I was like, wait, it could just be the Meta Gala. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're, we're out here. We're out here. Okay. It's up now. It's it's not in the middle of a, a forest. Oh, this is nice. Let's see. All right, we got to do the... Ah, they didn't take my digital Pangea. Okay. They have Pangea, though. <laughs> Yeah, Pangea, um, I was actually in a space with them the other day. They were, like, the main sponsor, so I, I definitely want to hear more about that because they're doing, like, a bunch of stuff with different metaverses. You got to drive wow, Carol's got Dang, it's hole. like that? Okay, <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of sponsor is Colorful <laughs> got over there, the hell? Colorful's got a whole wall dedicated at this time. Sponsored by the whole meta, goddamn. <laughs> yeah. She's got a whole wall of work. She got, she got into some deep pockets over there in the meta. I like it. <laughs> Resourceful. That's what we're trying to do, you know? That's, that's what I'm sitting here trying to do. I'm like, okay, who's sponsoring this? Let me, let me give them a follow. <laughs> She's got the CEO of Time Magazine. I mean, calling her out. Yeah, like that. With a shout out to yeah, everyone. We're gonna have to talk to my assistant from now on. <laughs> oh, hit us with the assistant. <laughs> oh, no. Nah. Doing What's big things out here. We've all been here in the Central Land tonight at the Summer Gala. We're getting sorted here. Are you upstairs? Are you at the red carpet? Oh. I'm, I, I'm waiting for paparazzi. Oh. Triple said, I've arrived. <laughs> I've arrived. All right. All right. Let's, uh, I'm going to switch it up here. Where are you guys at? The Summer Gala. Summer in the Gala. Central Land. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, colorful looking gorgeous. I see you. <laughs> You're so sparkly. I like it. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. I'm waiting for, for someone, someone to ask me what I'm wearing. wearing. I'm going to go look at the designer again. Oh, there's She's got there. very strong eyebrows. I'm digging it. Okay. Okay, girl. Who, who's the yeah, eye so eyebrow dress. lady? <laughs> I'm, I'm dead. dead. So this dress came as like a skin with like the hair and the face and everything. Um, I'm trying to remember. Oh, no. Mine just crashed. No. I won it at the a one of the ABC Decentral and like the last one I won. Um, I want to see who it's by in case anyone cares. Um, I forget, but yeah, I won that one, so it was pretty cool. I was like, oh, this is gonna be perfect, and then I ha already had the La Latino Society aura um, that I was gifted the other day that I, I sent you one as well, and I already had it on. It's just so cool because it was so sparkly. Yes, I'm wearing it. It looks fabulous. Serena asked me. I was over there for a little bit, and they were like, oh, my God, where'd you get it? I'm like, colorful. She's so fabulous. I love it. Look at it. It's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, Tang Poco, I guess, sent a couple to, um, I forgot what his name was, but he was giving them out. So luckily, I got two. We love it. We love it. Representation. I'm also rocking the Latino Society little, little crop top. We giving you giving you all stomach tonight. I don't know what's going on. They're like this fit is crazy. <laughs> I see that. I like that wearable. The the one that wraps around with all the flags. Very cool. Very cool. Um, oh lie, mine is not loading properly at all. Yeah, okay, we see is, Roach kill. <laughs> yeah, this realm must be packed. Like, there must be something going on. And it must be because it just started, too. We have some pieces. The Colorful's got some pieces, and we have a couple um, collaborations that are shown at this uh, summer gala. And CK's up here. But happy Friday, everybody, and thank you for hanging out. And this is such an exciting day. Yeah, this is really cool. It's nice to see it all come together. Um, it's been it's been a lot, <laughs> a little bit of stress. This small team that's been working on this, and I have to give a ton of credit and shout out to AKA Horace. It's really been uh, a lot of their hard work. Um, also, who's helped out has been Tang Poco, 
uh, Madamus, myself, um, Parzival, oh, and I just crash. Um, <laughs> I guess it's because I have my graphics up as Ultra, trying to take some cool pictures. Uh, but yeah, it's been a really great small team that's kind of put this all together. I've mostly been functioning as like a curator and, and helping, uh, you know, bring in the wearable artists and NFT artists into the space um, and making sure that, you know, we get all the files and we get everything up and it's, you know, like where it's displayed in the space too. Um, so it's been really cool and it's my first time working on an event like this and I've learned a lot. <laughs> it's been really fun. Heck yeah, that's so sick. I was just like seeing if um, anyone else wanted to come through. Tank Poco came through last week. And yeah, that's. I saw um, up at the first floor, like where the red carpet was, like the sponsors for this. So we were just talking about Pangea Dow. I've just been seeing them recently. Um, so I would definitely love to learn more about them and all the other people that were involved in, you know, the whole uh, sponsorship and preparation. So. You guys, you said it was a small team, but I mean, this was really, really well put together. And I'm just out here repping my, my dress and my little Latino society aura. <laughs> and it's just so fun. It's just so fun. I always have fun being here. I did, I did crash a couple of times, but. Yeah, we went to Artemis Realm. I don't know if Colorful followed us to Artemis Realm, but that's where we're at. Um, it seems like a lot is going on in DG today. Like, not just this place, but <laughs> they across uh, the central land. But this is, a, this is a big build, and, like, I don't know, CK, if you could talk to, like, I was saying that there's a lot of wearables and stuff. Like, that has to weigh on, you know, the, the platform because these are so intricate and like these wearables have to be pretty heavy and then the people coming too oh there's clammy what's up clammy yeah i'm going for ski everyone in the chat saying they crash and hard yeah crash, crash oh hum motherfuckers one time, time. Wow, Billy is in full form right now. He is a sight to behold. That's nice to see people. Glitch, did you crash? I see Clammy on here. Yeah, it crashed for the second time. I'm kind of like, should we just go to a different realm? <laughs> That's what right. she's asking in the thing right now. Yeah. Um... Art. Artemis? Yeah, Artemis could work, I guess. I don't know where everyone else is going. I don't know if they were saying, like, Hephaestus or whatever they were going to warp into, but... Yeah, pretty crazy. Pretty crazy in here. Yeah, I'm going to see if they respond. If not, we'll do our own. We'll do our own party. Glitch, I was telling Colorful she should host uh, Women in Tezos uh, space. Um, you guys, you guys do a space, um, want to go, I'm trying to help her do her gallery, and so we can go hard on the, the spatial galleries in Tezos next week, if, uh, if you down, reach Ooh, out. yes, and then love our that friend, idea. Our friend Moonlight is now on Tezos now, too, um, she's a great artist, so, you know, maybe get her involved. I know she hosts our spaces every week too, so it'd be good. I think. I think. Yeah, for sure. Love this idea. Definitely back in the in the Tezos swing of things. I know it a little bit. I'm gonna try to go up and DG. No, we're going to Artemis. We're going to Artemis. Oh, oh, okay. I wanted to see people. Artemis. First. I'm gonna do people first. All right. I see glitch in here. Okay, let me take some pics real quick while well, this loaded for me and then. Wow. I'm winning some pairs right now, like Rick Ross. Shout out to all the pair. I eat pears and shit like that now. 
Oh, it's all got all up in my pick. Man. Wanna add Shiny on the red carpet? What's up, Alberto? Happy Friday. We're just out here. We're uh, showing some pieces in the metaverse. Okay. Nice. Happy Friday, my friends. Well, I'm just uh, listening and well, uh, what kind of pieces are you are you uh, dropping on the metaverse? Uh, Colorful's got um, her photography NFTs and then um, an NFT we collaborated on um, for our film 3, um, NGMI Alive. And so there's this whole um, summer gala going on right now in Decentraland today and tomorrow with a bunch of artists coming together and with wearables and different stuff. Um, and so, yeah, it's a pretty big event. Um, also, did you did you say a film? Yeah, yeah, I did a short film. Wow! And how how are you making it? Uh, uh, are you how how the um, the strategy to to create the delivery? So um, it is uh. Yeah, it's a short film, and we're gonna use uh, glass. I don't know if you're familiar with glass. Um, X, Y, Z. I can pin up. Oh uh, yeah, glass.xyz. Um, it does cost a bit, like to cover the gas fees to mint uh, a video, and so we have our first NFT. Like we did uh, a polygon collection and we're going to use the proceeds of that to to mint it because it costs like 0.1 to, to mint the whole video um, or more um, that's like the minimum so I'm trying to find like a their pin tweet like all right whatever this is their, their I Twitter I offer for example I don't know a frame from the film or a certain clip from the film or for people buying tokens or it, or how, how is it that you're going to deliver are you going to deliver the whole movie uh, the post is going to be available for, for the people to watch I want to watch the, to watch the whole movie uh, what do I have to do yeah so um, that is the unlockable content of the, the movie poster there so you'll get uh, a link to the film um and yeah, what the, the collection is, is frames from the, the film. And like, I made this specifically for the phone, uh, for watching on the phone. So it's a little different take um, on short films and just like trying to just push it forward a little bit. And just, you know, I've made widescreen films, traditional widescreen, but this I specifically made for the phone. And so it fits perfectly to watch um, on your phone. And yeah, that's the unlockable content it comes with now until you know and then we're gonna mint it and then um if you you know there's gonna be i think 10 copies when when, when we mint the whole thing uh but right now it's private and it's just um to the to the holder so yeah um yeah, i wanted to do it in uh, multi-meta or i'm sorry multi-blockchain Sorry, <laughs> sorry, no, Alberto. I'm sorry, no, you were uh, like... Yeah, no, I was just uh, saying, uh, basically just, yeah, multi-blockchain. Uh, so, you know, here on OpenSea, Polygon, um, we're showcasing the still images right now, which are one of ones, and the po the movie poster, which are additions. And yeah, like Lisa was saying, that comes with the unlockable content for the movie. And then the Tezos one is like the colorful GIF, um, which is also, you know, the same unlockable content they just object just hasn't worked on, a, on an official link so you know if anyone purchases from Tezos they can just DM us and we'll send it to them and you know everything that goes towards this is going to go towards minting it on glass um so that is officially on the blockchain and then um and then we'll go from there you know hopefully this will spark up uh, future productions and get more people like wanting to you know work on on short films hopefully feature long films eventually uh 
but we did premiere it in spatial. So we had uh, like a good, like I think 30 people joined. Um, we did two showings, so we might do another one. And again, it, it is like a summer slasher, but like spooky season's coming up. So uh, it's kind of like a horror comedy. So we'll definitely um, <laughs> do something again when it's like the spooky season. Wow, that's amazing. And tell me, uh, you said uh, that you're going to need uh, 10 copies of it. So it, it may eventually be uh, a great opportunity for uh, making profit for the second market. People that have uh, bought the movie can actually, after watching that, offer that to people that are probably much more than them out there willing to watch it. So uh, it's interesting. Uh, just one question. How do you... Con do uh, do you have any kind of control in order to um, try to prevent uh, the most that you can uh, that that unlocked the content that is linked into the video is not being um, reproduced uh, outside uh, the NFT? Yeah, so um, it, there's only uh, Few, few copies with the the unlockable content and uh it hasn't it's it's to a link that you know i can keep track of of you know how many people view it it's it's very limited um how many people have uh seen it and it's not like getting shared like that so um yeah uh that answers the, the question but yeah um the movie industry and everybody who wants to create, I don't know, any kind of um, production uh, in, I mean, either, I don't know, uh, a short movie, a uh, TV series, a series of uh, clips, uh, whatever that is uh, involving video uh, is something that is amazing and new. All of the restrictions when it comes to the size, I think, of, of a video that, for example, if you're using uh, the, the Ethereum blockchain, you might have I think, it's a much good. So, yeah, but you're mentioning about uh, this is being uh, produced for uh, cellulose uh, in particular. So, uh, I think that you are probably not offering a 4K or the yeah, with the high definition uh, quality of the content. So this is in 4K. It, it is vertical, and it is in 4K. Um, and, and, and like, this is our first film, 3, and so it's not going to be this rollout every time. Like, we're just getting started here. Um, the next time we'll be, like, minting it and then, and then uh, sh you know, having it shown uh, in the metaverse. But, you know point one to have just to cover gas fees you know it's that's quite a bit um <laughs> that's a pretty big you know uh, investment to just say you're you're kissing that away for gas fees so um yeah we need to just um come up with that and uh, also provide value for someone that, that's going to help us do that so that's how that's how we see it and we also did a multi-blockchain approach so we have it on polygon uh, on OpenSea, and then we have pieces on Tezos um, as well. And so, yeah, it's a multi block multi blockchain approach, and we debuted it in spatial in the metaverse. Wow. Well, uh, I would take a look at uh, what you have posted on the list, and I would take a look at that. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Oh, thank you so much for checking it out and for for your interest in it. And uh, yeah, so colorful i don't know if you want to talk about how you got these pieces i mean colorful's got a whole wall here in this gala on the second floor here of her pieces how did this uh this happen yeah so i was asked to present two pieces from an open sea collection as well as uh, something from bleed so we decided to do uh, well two from the Romanticizing Memories collection, which is my Genesis photography collection, um, and it's digital photography. It's on my Colorful Designs page, 
and I'll pin it up at the top so you guys can see the two pieces that are on there. I'll post the images of the place in a second. And then we have two pieces from the NGMI Alive movie. So we have the movie poster and then a, a still. So yeah, that's kind of like what ended up happening with this one specifically. And yeah, I'm excited because this is like my second time showing something in the central and, you know, spatial, I feel like is a little um, easier to kind of create your own galleries or, you know, uh, present yourself in other galleries, but in the central land, since, um, you know, it's like people own this land, so it has to be like a, an event to kind of do this thing. I was really happy to hear that I could once again present my artwork here. And, and I, I love how, you know, beautiful, beautifully displayed it is. Uh, CK Bubbles did a great job. Um, I know a lot of people worked on this. I know Madame Miss was like one person. So, um, you know, I, I would love to hear more people of like how they put this all together because I, I do think it's really uh, great and like curated, like amazing. There's wearables like on the second floor, um, just like on mannequins, how kind of like how you would see it on a store. Um, which is like really, really cool. And then there's uh, different sections for different people's artwork. I just saw Meta Jewels. Um, there's a whole tree house here. Um, you guys know me, I'm not one to talk too much about my work, but yeah, if you go up technically to the third floor, um, so, you know, the first floor is the red carpet, then you go up one floor, you have like the stage and all that, which I believe is where they're gonna have the Meta performances tomorrow. They're going to have some music performances by Gucci Hill um, is one of them. And uh, then you go up to the third floor. And it looks kind of like this futuristic type of like build. Um, and there's a couple more wearables. And then there's like a transparent wall. And that is where all four pieces are, which is so cool. Like, I, you know, I just didn't really know what to expect. But I think like that really did them justice there. Wow, I'm taking a look at the pictures uh, and it looks really, really amazing. Congratulations. And how, how long, how, what's the length of, of this uh, movie? Oh, it's only like uh, four minutes and 20 seconds, I think, around. Yeah, so it's pretty short. Um, but yeah, I really went in on the editing of it. Um, and I just want to give a shout out to CK Bubbles. Um, I know she, uh, they helped, uh, Carol, Colorful Carol. Yeah, so I was, I don't know if you heard me, CK, but I was just saying how, like, beautifully, you know, organized and, like, how awesome everything looks in here. I'm, I'm actually refreshing now because I was in DG and, uh, <laughs> it's very busy in DG, so, uh, I might, I might hop in again, um either into there or into Artemis. We'll see which one works best. But yeah, I was just saying everything looks stunning and thank you so much. Like I, I just feel like um like getting your DM about this was like I knew it was gonna be such a cool opportunity and uh, just seeing like the four pieces displayed like so beautifully um on like the third floor, like I was saying, just it just looks really cool and it's just always special to kind of like showcase your art in like a different way. And it's the first time like NGMI Live is being showcased in the Central Land, so that's also really special. And I'd love to hear from you know from CK if you're not busy or anyone else that maybe worked on this. I'm just curious, like I definitely want to you know, um, if you know anyone and want to invite them to speak, um, if they would like, that'd be great too. Um, we're we're definitely all very curious in <laughs> how all this was put together. So this transparent wall here. This is our NFTs here. This is Carol's on the left, and then our collaborative ones on the right from our film three NGMI Alive uh, film that we did. Um, so this is us here. Yeah. So the two pieces on the left are from my. Uh, Genesis photography collection called Romanticizing Memories. I have two photographs um, that are clearly very colorful. Um, and yeah, those are available on OpenSea, Polygon. They're from my art page, Colorful Designs. And then, like Lise was saying, the two on the right are from our Film 3, NGMI Alive. It's a short horror comedy. And it's based on, you know, the Web3 space, Web3 shillers. Um, <laughs> we premiered it in Spatial a couple of weeks ago, and it was a lot of fun. 
Uh, so we actually have the movie posters as editions available on OpenSea, Polygon. And then we have the still images from the film available as one of ones. And each one comes with unlockable content to the full 4K film. And you also get a discount to Bleece.com. So we have these four up right now. Um, and GMI Live is also Tezos friendly. So we have a colorful GIF of the movie poster available on Tezos as well. And yeah, it's just really cool to just watch it getting displayed in this awesome gala. Yeah, so MBFW Summer Gala 2022 is where we're at. So it's a bunch of wearables and then got Roustan's body paint. A bunch of wearables here. <laughs> it's really cool, so. Come check it yeah. out. Multi-blockchain approach for that film three. ETH, Polygon, and Tezos. So yeah, we are featured here as well. I just think they're interviewing the, the wearables. So yeah. that's what they're doing. So that's why I wanted to say that really quick. Yeah, it is a fashion gala. And check that out. Uh, Blease, where did you say you were? Because I just showed up to Artemis Realm. So I'm going all the way to the top right now. You, you got to go to the blue arrow at the top of the red carpet stairs and oh. then go to the left towards meta jewels yeah keep yep see the blue arrow yep, yep. just run into it oh this is like, like harry potter Boom. Oh. and you just saw clammy you just ran past clammy and i see billy t coin i see your six nine down there what is good um i saw you as well you were uh flamboyant <laughs> shining bright like a diamond um yeah, we've uh, moved over to Artemis Realm and just we used to go to Artemis Realm back in uh, December when we'd go to MetaZoo and it would be uh, crashing the server and so we'd go to Artemis Realm and kind of it's kind of like uh, have your own little private room, you know. You can just be with you, you know your friends in the space and you kind of just all talk about you know say which uh, realm you want to go in and just take it over and it'll just be you guys. And we actually got a shout out from. Uh, category five he's like shout out to everyone in artemis realm that was really cool um i see fizz down there um foundation are you uh with the with the gala would love to hear about it um or just chat happy friday we're just hanging out here we're at the summer gala what's going on happy friday I finally see Bleece and Glitch and Clammy up here. We're finally squatted up in Artemis Realm. So if you want to hang out with us, um, go to Artemis Realm. I actually might just post some of the images and, and link it so that way anyone can just come and hang out. Uh, we're at kind of the secret location where the arrow is right now. And I love the pieces that are up here. These are really cool. I love the little like figures too that are dancing. Like it's just really cool. It's like Oh yeah, that's some um, some really cool art by Super Nina and Isa, like Isa Amazing. They have been working on that for a little while in the background. Um, that's all I could say about it so far. <laughs> but yeah, that they've been working on that that model. Um, hey, so colorful like props props to your artistry. Hi, Scott. Hi. Where are you in the build? I mean, this thing is huge. So <laughs> where where um where we're in the Artemis are? realm. Not yeah, I'm in Artemis, but where in the build are you? Where, uh, so there's like a little arrow. There's a little blue arrow right next to Look, the I'm by jewels. the blue arrow. Top floor, yeah, so DJ. Walk in through the wall. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, got it. Okay, there you are. Hey, oh, colorful, you got your refraction dress on. I love that dress. Mm. And I was just nice. saying how like it's like a whole skin, so I got my pink nails with it, and it comes with the hair, and and then I got my little Latino society like aura that uh, I was gifted the other day, so it's all very sparkly and bright. Clammy's here, super ice poker guy, throwing some money at me. Hi, Glitch. Oh, Clammy. Hey. Hey, hey. hey Scott. That's so nice to hear your voice. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I know, it's been forever. Um, 
Yeah, I, I know we haven't gotten to talk, but um, I just wanted to say, like, I hope you liked your tree. And, and I definitely, I loved contributing um, on that piece. And, and it, you know, it just meant so much just, at, you know, adding a little something special to that. So I just had to say that, like, really quick. But I'm really happy you're here tonight. And <laughs> I just love my tree. I love all the trees. Yeah, right. It's going to happen. <laughs> I was at the Snapple Bodega today, and um, I need a what else was going on today? Blizzard. Like Jose Cuervo, Patron. There's a BTS music video uh, premiering tomorrow. Like they made me harvest the agave. <laughs> They're gonna bring the whole K-pop army, and it's gonna crash the system. Oh yeah, I saw that. Everyone, come over to the middle area upstairs. There's auto dance. Come to the dance floor. Oh cute. Oh, let's go. I really love seeing, like, crowds of people move into Central Land. I don't know why, like, it brings me so much joy to see, like, 20 or 30 people all moving together. Gang, gang. Please, I think we need some musica. Oh. Yeah, I just got footsteps. <laughs> we can't be dancing inside Oh, Madamus, what's up? I saw you came up. What is up, Madamus? Hey, Madamus. Great job. Uh -oh. Let's build. Or the Thank code. you. Yeah, I'm uh -oh. glad everyone's enjoying it so far. Hopefully, uh, nobody crashes that much anymore. Got a lot of stuff going on in this build, but it all came together pretty nicely. Yeah, it looks really good. I mean, there's always a few hiccups every now and again, but it's doing great now. Yeah, it looks amazing, Hans. Yeah, I started off the stream with a very high bit rate, which may have been overloading everyone's system, so I lowered that. Hopefully we'll be uh, smooth sailing now. Yeah, we're dancing the night away now in Artemis Realm. Living the dream. Living the dream out here. Oh, and Super just... Nina came up to talk. What's up? Hey, guys. How are you? Hey, happy Friday. You know, hey. this is turn it, turning the day around for me. I am I'm loving it. I love how we're all here at Artemis Realm and we've all uh, met up here. This has uh, been amazing. I know I've been lagging like crazy, so I'm glad that uh, we finally found a space that everyone can take a nice picture. Happy Friday. It turned out really well, the whole venue. Really did. And uh, yeah, this is for us bringing us back to like last December when we used to have to go to Artemis Rome at MetaZoo. So I just threw out in the chat, like, let's just go to Artemis. And so it's glad to see uh, others follow too because yeah there's a lot going down in uh, DG today so I think it's just uh, bogged down a bit so this is really great cool are you guys enjoying the, the fashion museum space yeah and we were just uh, talking about um, the uh, little dancers <laughs> they're so cute I don't know if you wanted to speak on that but I love how graceful they are. I love all the moves, and I think they're such a like great addition to everything. Yeah, for sure. Um, so it started out kind of. Uh, I really liked the meditation and wellness space, so I was always kind of hoping to um, create some sort of like virtual experience that pairs well with uh, my meditation music, and um, I got uh, excited about doing potentially maybe in the future all these little cute dance dancing um, emotes that are um, already in the space I, I was hoping that one day maybe I could do one for um, people to do um, yoga kind of um, gymnastic like poses like the jumps and like the things that they couldn't actually do in real life in the physical world maybe like they could do it in um, virtual and have fun with that and at least um, maybe it's some sort of inspiration um, to, to do that and then they can go into the studio and 
um, they can unlock these different um, rewards, these little emotes when they um, do lessons and they uh, do more lessons, they get rewarded more. So it was kind of based on that and the starting point was actually at least making something, obviously user generated emotes aren't available right now, but um, it was just kind of like practice to see uh, if I, we could even um, create something. So me and um, Isa teamed up together and um, I had these poses that I really wanted to kind of combine together and she really is amazing, <laughs> um, like her name says, and she was able to help bring that um, idea to fruition. And um, over time, it, it became something really cool that could fit in the space and evolve from uh, like a kind of like a grayscale animation to something um, that was um, a hologram and uh, we're going back and forth with us and the fashion team to see what could work with the space and I, I think it's always kind of like a the really amazing things happen when you collaborate together and um, combine everyone's ideas to make a whole experience cohesive otherwise it's kind of like one piece is here one piece is there everyone has their own colors everyone has their own like um, displays so um, I, I think it took a team to kind of bring it all together and I really appreciate everyone for making it beautiful. Um, I couldn't have done it without you guys. So um, congrats to and high five to the entire team on the um, MVFW uh, side. And also, um, I really appreciate you, Isa, big hugs to all of you. So yeah, that, that's kind of the gist of it and how it came together. Um, yeah, if there's any other questions on, um, on the, the pieces, I'm happy to answer them. Issa is probably happy to answer them too. So um, yeah, I, anything um, we're happy to, to speak to. I love it. I love it. And I've invited Issa to speak and anyone in here um, is uh, more than free to come up and talk. This is, this is great. And I, I know it. it must take so many people, you know, and I, CK was talking about it earlier about how it was such a small team but what you were able to pull off um, this is truly uh, this speaks to a lot of hard work um, and uh, it's really great to see because it seemed like I was here a couple of minutes before 6 o'clock and then you know the space deployed and it was just it felt like it was overrun by peeps so um, that, that must have been pretty taxing on the on the property so um, but it, it's running smooth now you know it's uh, it's great Sorry, I'm quiet right now because I was just posting all these images. I'm coming back upstairs right now. <laughs> um, I actually crashed, but I think it's because I have, I was trying to screen record and do just way too much for this computer. Um, I did actually see that there was an app uh, for the Mac now, so I'm going to try to download that, see if that works better. I know um, Blaze's PC works a lot better on the app, so I'm curious. Um, but yeah, everything's in beta mode, so... You know, it's all getting just started, but I think overall, like, it's it's working pretty good. So I'll keep people updated on the Mac. I know most people are PC users, but if anyone has any experience on either or, definitely uh, feel free to talk. Um, I'm on the second floor, just checking out like the different wearables again. It's like there's so much to see, and each little detail is just so special, and I love it. And Meta Jewels has joined us as well. What is up, Meta Jewels? How are you? Happy Hi, Friday. everyone. I'm good. Happy Friday or Saturday for me. I live in the future. <laughs> um, I hope you guys are all going well. And finally, we've found a stable, a stable realm-ish. Billy just crashed. I just crashed, but we're back. Um, yeah, thanks for having me. And thank you to everyone, all the organisers for the event. I've been dealing mainly with Horace and I know that he has been working so, so hard. Um, so I really appreciate you, Horace, and your hard work and everyone else who's been involved, CK, pulling us all together and Tang. Um, it was a shame we couldn't get the interviews today, but um, hopefully sometime soon 
but just letting all the designers know, all the creators, everyone involved, that I really appreciate you guys because this is cool. Everything looks awesome. Um, and a huge shout out to Mitchie Todd who did my build for my little pop up um, area. I just he just nailed the brief. I sent him a little bit of a mood board. We worked to and fro for a bit, and I just love it. So thanks, Mitchie. And yeah, that's all I got to say. Hope you guys are all well. Happy Friday. Yeah, and that's why I usually just say happy day because, you know, they're all the same and some people are, are in different days, you know. Um, yeah, how's the future? Is it bright? Uh, but, yeah, this is really <laughs> it's, cool. It's, was... it's sunny. It's, it's sunny here. <laughs> um, yeah, I like uh, Mitchie Todd's space on Friday. He does uh, the no pants Friday. Uh, it's a lot of fun in there. And he's always laughing. I like his laugh and it's very contagious. So shout out Mitchie Todd. And that's cool that he built that. Yeah, I'm liking all these little little pop-ups in here too. Um, how many um, parcels is this space? It feels like it's it's quite a few. Yeah, it's a five by five, so it's 25 total. Wow, <laughs> that's incredible. And yeah, um, I want, would like to uh, invite Horace, if any of you can, I don't think uh, he follows me back. Um, would like to get him in here. I love his jacket. Uh, don't be boring. <laughs> uh, really cool. And Isa's up here now. Hi, Isa. Happy day. Hello. Happy day for everybody. Can you hear me all right? Yeah. Oh, okay. I would like to say that it was a pleasure uh, working on this animation with Super Nina because uh, actually I love her idea of having this space uh, with meditation and uh, a place that we can have a, a better, I mean, bring something good to our in real life lives. So I really like the idea of the yoga. I have practiced yoga myself, so I think it's very interesting. And we wanted to do something that had this uh, meditation vibe, but at the same time, something that was vibrant and fun. So she came up with the idea of mixing dance to it. And uh, that's how we end up with that. We, we have worked with the yoga poses and then we wanted to add this jump at some point of the animation and in the end I felt like something was missing so I just added this uh, Indian dance, traditional Indian dance step so that's how we came up with the idea and put together everything that we wanted to, to add to this uh, emote. That is great, and uh, Aja was speaking very highly of it um, earlier in the space, and that it just gives so much life. You know, some of these spaces can uh, feel a little dead, I guess, like uh, not having any movement. So having that really just uh, brings a lot of life to the space and adds a lot. Um, so really, really cool animation. Thank you. Thank you so much. I actually uh, would like to see more like uh, NPCs or something like that moving around because I, I agree with you, it brings uh, life to the spaces, it gets more vibrant and fun. So yeah, it was super nice working with this animation. Yeah, I think from the idea to the execution was just really cool. Like, I mean, everything that you passed by is so interesting, but that has been like one of the most unique things I've seen so far. I just, I love it so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all the positive feedback. I was wondering if you guys would like something like this, the yoga thing, because I was really excited about it. So I'm, I'm pretty glad that, that you guys are enjoying it and think it's something awesome. Yeah, I don't want to like speak for Odd because I know that they had to go run, but they were saying something earlier around how they wish they could step into essentially the little thing that the animation's on in the space and be able to have their character do it. Um, so I think there's a lot of people who would really like to see more of this. Um, and I, I agree that there should be more NPCs and NPCs that move in spaces, you know, adding more more life to what would normally be an empty space if it wasn't being used for an event or anything. So I love that idea. 
Yeah, yeah hopefully this. Go on. <laughs> Uh, I was just saying, one thing I'd love to see would just be, um, instead of them being displayed, just like how they're on, just like, you know, figurines, just being able to display them in life, just how, how you have them, the figurines kind of moving around, but being able to see the just, uh, you know, different wearables just kind of in action. Yeah, that would be super fun. And I think uh, hopefully in the future we have more interaction. Uh, with each other and even with NPCs, it would be nice to have some more interaction and social interaction. Yeah. So who knows? Maybe in the future. Yeah, I hope we can do um, big hugs with each other. That would be really cool. Yeah, <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> I, would, I would hug everybody. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Blowing kisses and hugging everybody all the time. Yeah, that'd be really funny. Hugs and kisses. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just looking um, through your, your Twitter here, and I see that you animated that um, for the, the parade, um, which is really cool. I actually got a, a pretty cool video of that particular robot, so it's really cool that um, you animated that. just want to give you a shout-out for that. Um, it's a lot of work, so... Do you animate? Um, is there specific programs that you work with? Is it uh, Blender or uh, what do you? Yeah, what, I've, Cinema I. Have, I I used to work in Maya, but I've started the animation thing in Blender, and today in the Central Land I animate in Blender. I think it's uh, much more intuitive than Maya, and uh, there's some a lot of advantages, and uh, I think it's very it's very intuitive. And it's very uh, the 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 learning curve is isn't as steep as in Maya. Maya can be very intimidating. Yeah, we uh, had that conversation um, a few days ago. Uh, we learned Maya in college, and then after college, nothing really didn't really mess with with Maya outside of that. I think it was uh, Orange. Uh, was was talking about that in the, in a space, and so it was really relatable. Um, and yeah, I, I like Blender. And the other thing too, um, there's a lot of tutorials too on Blender. So if you need to like look up something, it's very easy. I felt with Maya, you couldn't look up and find as many um, how-to videos. Uh, with Blender, there's plenty uh, at YouTube University. So yeah, that's really really cool. Yeah, and it's updated. Because Maya, sometimes it will take forever for them to implement something or have a really nice add-on, something like that. And I think Blender is more up to date. So I really like it today. Back when I started with animation uh, in 2014, uh, I started in Blender. But uh, then I moved to Maya because Maya, I felt like Maya was much more powerful than Blender. But today I think it's quite the opposite actually because there's so many features. Uh, that help in animation that Maya doesn't have. For example, in Maya you have to export every single animation clip separately, and in Blender you can export like multiple animations at the same time. So having all in the same file, it's much easier to animate because you can just sometimes copy some frames from one animation and paste it on the other and make the whole process much more uh, faster. Yeah, I've really liked uh, switching over to Blender. It was just really um, learning the uh, user interface, which, yeah, very, very easy to pick up. Um, I've had to use, this is now my third different one. I've done uh, Cinema 4D, too, um, which is like learning a different language uh, within 3D. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah, much respect to that. And I like the yoga talk, too. I'm not, talking to some DCL peeps, I, I think there's a, a big movement coming Um in regards to um, yoga and people doing more yoga um, in the space, just to you know bring more awareness to it. And um, my my angle on it is like I've been uh, making yoga clothes now for a few years. I really like um, making like the yoga mat with like the the leggings and stuff. Even though I don't I don't necessarily wear them, but I enjoy you know putting them together and uh, they just really um, flow. And it's all about you know, becoming one with like your environment. And so the, the clothing and stuff, I want to, to reflect that. And um, yeah, so seeing that, you know, 
coming into the metaverse space you know it's just yet another um implementation of where you can um bring that into the metaverse uh, different different artwork hi meta jewels down there your pieces are amazing i'd love to hear you talk about them as well hey meta jewels loving the fanny pack i love it i can't get enough of the fanny packs what is up thanks for joining fanny pack irl last year for my summer line and so seeing fanny packs now like really hit the the wearables and digital asset like i really like that so would love to hear more. Oh, i i love fanny packs too because i love having my hands free so if i go out i'm getting a bit old now so i don't party as much as i used to but if i ever go out for a party or go for a dance i've always got my fanny pack on so i got my hands free um so that was kind of inspiration but i was just i love i'm inspired by off-white um the label i just love off-white and more sort of edgy edgy high fashion um and that was the no signal was also inspired by that as well but yeah fanny packs just worked really well in dcl because you can still wear everything you want to and they seem to still fit over most wearables and that's the inspiration for all my wearables well majority of them is that you can wear them with everyone else's stuff um so i i just focus mainly on accessories so you can still wear your favorite shoes you can still wear your favorite outfit your favorite jacket and then you can chuck something meta jewels on top hey meta jewels if you ever uh if you ever want to do a collab as far as making that uh physical and digital hit me up oh i would love to there's so many times like that no signal dress when i made that i'm like i need this in real life i need this in my life there's so many of things that i would love to make in real life so definitely let's um let's connect and sort something out heck yeah i love it because uh you know especially when you talk about high fashion that's uh something we're striving for this fall and uh it's definitely gonna come through and i think everybody's gonna love it love high fashion I'm, I'm valentino slash versace junkie so that's why i i wear a lot of black and gold um and the chains on my sunglasses and my body suits and the chains on my bags in fact are very versace inspired um so i love high fashion but i i like affordable fashion too so i like to find the, the nice mix in between that I'm chilling right next to the fanny pack. They're looking fabulous. They are looking super cute. <laughs> all of those fanny packs, actually all of those bags that I've got, I've purposely put bags in there just because there is a few things in my collection. So Mitchie Todd said, Ebony, sorry, <laughs> Meta Jewels, there you go, Dox myself. Um, he's like, you've just got to pick a few wearables. You've got, you like, you, you can't have everything in there. So I restricted myself to the bags and all those bags are on sale still. So I haven't put anything that's sold out. Let's go. Oh, I love it. Love to see it. And you're looking fabulous tonight. <laughs> Thank you. And thank you everyone for all the, all the love with the build that's just turned out so well. I'm so, um, so appreciative to Horace and all the other organizers for, um, for that space and to be able to have that amazing build. So I feel very blessed up with some really awesome designers there. So Horace did, uh, did this build? I'm just curious as to um, who did these different, different builds yes. here. My specific build was Mitchie Todd, but Madamus, I'm, I'm sure you probably know more, but I'm pretty sure that Horace did everything else because I know that man was busy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. I think Horace also did a Kazuto section for him too. And then uh, Vertwell sent us the treehouse. We kind of installed all the uh, extra booths on the plot. And then, yeah, Horace did all of the uh, design for the main building, all the little displays and the hover pads and all the different stuff. He was sort of the, uh, the lead on all the space, kind of guiding me where to place everything. Yeah, 
that's great and like that's what web3 is about right like all the collaboration like that's what this space it, it takes and it needs um a bunch of people just contributing to this you know <clears throat> we all have different paths but similar goals and to like pull something like this off like it takes a group like i know we are all individual artists but um it takes a it takes a group to pull something like this off so um uh, yeah yeah, I, I don't want to speak, you know, for their project and, and how much they, they want to give out, but I, I totally agree. And I think, you know, it's it's just so cool to see. And, and when, you know, Nina reached out to me about being in it because I was helping curate and I found out kind of what their piece was, I was like, there's, there's nothing else like this in the space. <laughs> I was like, we got to have this. I was like, I don't care what happens. Make sure this gets in. No, I'm just kidding. There were there were a bunch of people. I was like, we need to get these in. Um, but yeah, I I really love it and I appreciate it so much. And I hope to see to see more of these these figures and movements and models and whatever else people can create. I love it. It'd be really cool if it was like in a Metaskins gallery, you know, where you walk on the pad and then you, you've got the skin on. You could walk in and it would be your skin, but it would be doing the the motion. Oh, that would be really cool. I didn't kind of a flip. That. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely going to be the future. Just seeing like if you can display your NFT or just using that as a display, just being able to see different aspects of the wearable and things like that would be super cool. Yeah, I just wanted to give a shout out to AKA Horace, who's now up here with us in the <laughs> um, in our little spot where the blue arrow is. We're still chilling up here. Um, would definitely like if at one point we could go back uh, downstairs and get a picture in front of uh, my pieces and Blaise and I's pieces. Uh, you know, we're, we're really appreciative of just like being featured in this really cool space, like. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm almost like speechless whenever like I get involved in something like this and there's just so many talented people in one place. So much appreciated. And I love that we're all hanging out in this little spot in Artemis realm. It, it takes me back to, to the old days of when we were just going to Artemis because CG was just too packed. So I love to see all the people in here now. SRJH has colorful frog hat on. Just going to throw that out there i need it with the fanny pack i'm i'm absolutely loving these fanny packs i was saying earlier in the space i made my first fanny pack last year for my summer line and just love 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 fanny packs getting brought into this space so very cool and odd job were you talking about these animations of the little characters here like doing flips yeah. and stuff really cool yeah the gymnasts Basically. Yeah. yeah, yeah, those. It's exactly what I was talking about. And you know what I was talking about, right, please, with the the Metaskins, where you walk into the like the little booth of the pad, and like if there's Frankenstein in there, then you become Frankenstein. I've heard of it. I haven't experienced that. That's really cool, though. ABCs did a tour there. Uh, I think that was Bubbles. Um, wasn't that yours? Your location, Bubbles. Sorry, which location again? Metaskins, where you walk oh, in. Oh, yes, you... yes, it was, yeah. And you would go into the little teleporter thing. I don't know if that's the right word for it, but, yeah, the little thing, and it would change you into the, the wearable, yeah. But, yeah, I was just thinking if, like, I could step, say, like, right now I'm on the pad, and what if the gymnast went away, and then my avatar did the animation that the gymnast is doing so I could see what it is that I'm wearing and having having me do the, the, the gymnastics. Yeah, that would be, uh, like, when? When can we do that? <laughs> <laughs> Madamus, when can we do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, always, is Madamus in here? He's in world. He's he in knows. the chat, in the DCL he can chat. Just, <laughs> he can just sense it. He senses the creation. He sees me walking on the pad. He's like, oh, crap. When is Scott going to ask me about that? Let's go. Here. This is like the little VIP area now. We love to see this. This is awesome. <laughs> look, at, look at this. What a party. What a meta party. Let's go. 
And yeah, loving. I did. That. I did want to say uh, yeah, hi right from now, Moxie guys, Star. Way, I'll tweet um, it out. She tried to make it into the into the build. Um, she has to use the client, whatever. She had a number of, of difficulties, but um, she was super happy to have you, CK, contact her and um, and get three of her pieces up in here. So thank you for reaching out to her and uh, and doing that. Um, and she's going to try on a faster computer, I think, later today or tomorrow. So just want to say hi from Moxie. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I know they were trying to get in, and I think when they first came, the build wasn't deployed yet, so... There was, you know, they were just kind of waiting, like, we're, I don't see a building. And I was like, they haven't deployed yet, probably, just wait a minute. Um, but, yeah, I, you know, I appreciate them and, you know, always miss them in the space. But I love to have them involved, even if they can't get in, you know. I actually just DM'd Moxie, and they're going to be coming in, so, um, soon. So, yeah, hopefully we, we can talk. Um, definitely great energy and... Uh, yeah, definitely want to get more people in here just speaking and hopefully they can get in. Lisa's also streaming on Twitch. I know it's not the same as actually, you know, being your cat, uh, you know, your little avatar and walking around. But if you kind of want to get the visual of like all of us just kind of hanging out here, um, I pinned it up at the top. Just click on that and yeah. Could we line up for a picture? I mean, we got everybody here. Let's do it. Let's do it. And I see Madamus. What is good, Madamus? Saw you in world. Wanted to send an invite your way. Happy Let's Friday. See. Tell us where to go, Odd. I'm tr I'm figuring it out right now. I think um, if we can jump up on this part right here, yeah. Let's just let's just come over here to where these um, these really cool bird art things are. There you go. And then let's turn let's turn back and look look this way. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Cause then because then we won't have the build there. Yeah, so where everybody was looking, that's that's what I want to do. So everybody look out. Everybody look away. Okay. And then I'm gonna come down here. I'll be the camera operator. And we'll have the build in the background. There we go. But uh, whoever it is next to you, colorful, <laughs> to your left, I can't see him. <laughs> yeah, and I see SRJH <laughs> is in Josh. here. Josh, he is. Josh, you're behind the picture. Hey, Come Billy's around. in here. Let's go. We've got room. Um, colorful, if you jump down, then uh, we'll still see you, and we can have Josh. Yeah, there you go, Clammy. A little bit more, Clammy. There you go, Tank. Yeah. Awesome. No, Tang, where are you going? Okay. Am I in a good spot? Yeah, that's good. Uh, go go a little bit to your left. Down. Down. You're, you're blocking Billy. A little bit to your left, like half step. Yeah. Okay, yeah, forward. Yeah, a little bit to your right. There you go. Perfect. Where you are is perfect. Okay, Tang. Horace. We're taking a picture, by the Horace way, guys. Is in the Twitter space? Uh, no, he's not. Okay. I this is pretty it. good. Yeah, I, I I'm, I'm trying to find you guys. Where are you? They don't, I couldn't message them, so if someone does want to message them, the space. That's every side. Okay. This is this is pretty good. I'm just going to take some snaps. Josh, you need to look at me. You're looking away. Whoa, whoa. Colorful. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah Madam, turn around. There you go. Okay. Nice. Perfect. Hey, UMAC. Is UMAC here? UMAC is here. Trick yeah, Star UMAC is showing it. up. MetaJules is here. Wow. Okay, awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. This is making my day. Okay. Oh, what is that? Who showed up with this big ass radio? They're right in my way. That's Trickstar. <laughs> okay. All I see is I don't know what the hell that was. <laughs> A lot of neon. Metajules, can you go over by where Tang Poco is? Uh, okay. Should, should you jump? Really up sick. Uh, yeah. Should you jump up on the ledge behind you? So you can um. Hide. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, that's better. Another <laughs> standing right in front of police. <laughs> no, that's okay. Okay. Sweet. Oh my gosh, you guys totally know how to take a picture now. Unfortunately, <laughs> this has to be on medium because if I do anything higher than medium, uh, my computer will crash. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it though. I'm gonna try going to ultra right now. Just hang oh, on. Oh, you don't even want to attend you, high. You're gonna go straight ultra. I'm gonna yeah, go all you wanna, ultra, baby. We can swap. Ooh. I can take a picture. No, this is. Oh, Tang, turn around. <laughs> Colorful. Can you move to your right a little? There you go. Look back here. Now to your left a little. Sorry. There you go. Okay, perfect. Trickstar isn't in the picture. No, oh, just stay where you are. Trying to, move, trying to move like an inch is like the hardest thing here. <laughs> if you hold down your shift, then you'll, um, yeah, it is hard. Hold on. Oh, that's a nice one. I got Tang dancing. I got some kisses up in the air. I got you right before you're going to do a head explode, uh, Glitch Cat. So it looks like you got a headache. Your hands are on your head. Overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, everybody throw up some kisses. To spread the love. Dang it. I'm trying to get I the I love lead. the board mashing on seven. Seven, seven, seven. <laughs> nice. Billy next to Glitch Cat. That's a that's a great contrast there. I, I love it. <laughs> the fish nets okay. is like literally everything. Okay, I I gotta go. Um, I gotta run. I gotta go uh, pick up uh, pick up my dog from doggy daycare. <laughs> I just realized what time it is. Um, I love you all. Uh, I'll post these pictures uh, later, and um, I'll see you. See you later. Bye. That sounded like the. We love you. Bye. Bye. for this evening. Oh yeah. Pop, lock, and drop it. Pop, lock, and drop it. Trippy me. with me when you see people walking around wearing your things, right? Yeah, that's feeling. 
Yeah. Recently on on Wednesday, on Wednesday, I did an airdrop of 50 hey, Mr. Sway. I saw that. And and this week, you see a lot of people wearing those pants, and it's really making me so happy. Mm -hmm. Me too. I love that. that The bots scoop it up, and they never use it. But if you see that these people come to the central land, they play, and you see them wearing your stuff, it's just like I just want to keep giving them more. Good. Aw, that's such a nice... That, I think that's the sentiment we should end on right there. <laughs> thank you so much for talking yeah, yeah, with us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Up next, we have Goldilocks. I'm just going to take a minute and make sure that she is in the stream. Yeah. Come on, Pars, let's get the camera ready. Lug that heavy thing down the steps. <laughs> Following you. I am here. Can you hear me? Hi, Moxie Star. Yes, yes, I can hear you. What's up, Moxie Star? Nope, there she goes. Hey, Goldilocks, how are you? Hey, doing good. How are you? Good. Like, Great to have you with us today. Stream. Yeah, thank you for being here. <laughs> You have made some of the cutest wearables to come out in the last few months in Decentraland. Thank you. (laughs) I want to ask where you get your ideas, but I think I saw on Instagram that you have already a fidgetal version of one of your digital dresses. Is that right? Let's see where she's at. Uh, I I do, yes. That's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, so for the um, the neon dress, I actually got the inspiration for that dress oh, um, from the character Maddie Perez from Euphoria. So in one of the episodes, um, she wears a, it's a black dress that's like that. So I got the inspiration for that dress from there. <laughs> Amazing. So it's, it's such a nice dress and super popular here as well. Uh, was that your first wearable? So my first um, few collections I actually did with Frisky Bumblebee. I thought so. so. There is a black version of the neon dress, and then we did um, like an ice crown, and then I did um, a hair, like blonde short hair with rhinestone clips, and then we did a bubble aura. Oh, oh wow, you've done a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then one of the things that I noticed about your outfits too is that you have like a really unique boot style. Yes, the the gladiator boots. <laughs> mm-hmm. Those are pretty cool, and we haven't really seen too much of that kind of style in Decentraland. So it's kind of like your signature look now. Yeah, it's kind of hard because you have to include it with like the lower body. Yeah, I know. It's it's difficult as well to um, to decide to, to, to make that decision to make a wearable that these are the boots that you're always going to have to wear with it. You know, with the baby doll stuff, I did the same thing. And then you wonder like, oh, are people going to still still like wearing kind of stuff like this that they can't mix and match the shoes? But I think your shoes are so signature and such a part of that look that, you know, it, you did a really great job with it. Thank you. And then for the um, the beach set, I wanted to leave that freedom, so I left so the shoes, so you're able to switch it up on that that outfit. <laughs> That's a great set too. I never I, we don't see so much purple actually. So whenever I see it, I'm like, oh, that Goldilocks outfit right away. It's, I feel like um, there's there's not uh, that much purple inside of the central. I don't know. I could be crazy, but I mean, I'm looking around right now, and I don't see that color purple anywhere. <laughs> yeah, we could definitely use some more purple, but we do have the RGB, so that's amazing. All about the violet too. vibes, right? baby. A life you already know. A life changer. How long have you been in Decentraland, Goldie? So I got into Decentraland at the beginning of this year, and that's kind of also when I got into um, like 3D art and design t- as well. Awesome. And do you have do you have a, a fashion background? So, you know, nothing like professional, but fashion has always been a part of my life. Um, I have three sisters, and we all have different styles, so we kind of always have, like, mi- mixed and matched our clothes. Um, <laughs> Are you the oldest or the youngest or the middle? So, the the middle. I have um, 
but two younger sisters, and then I have one older sister. Nice. Wow. There must be a lot of fashion going on in your place. And we're all really different, too. So. <laughs> nice. So what are your plans in Decentraland? Do you want to continue with the Goldilocks fashion brand? Yeah, so I definitely um, see myself continuing to create wearables and, you know, trying to find new, bring new creative ideas to the space. Um, I, I spend a lot, I work full time, so I spend a lot of my free time, you know, <laughs> in Decentraland or mm -hmm. creating content, um, you know, for Decentraland on my Instagram and stuff like that, and then working on my design. So I have a bunch of other ones that I have planning to come out in the fall. Oh, awesome. What can you tell us about them? Give us any alpha? I'm going to leave that as a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. I like it. Keep the intrigue alive. <laughs> um, do you have any uh, other brands and designers in the space that you that you like? Um, so many. There's so many. So, you know, I, I really love a Nina, all Ninas, Super Ninas, and Definite Cash. I love all Doki's things, Meta Jewels. Um, really, every, everyone here in this chat, I, I think I have pretty much something from everybody here. <laughs> yeah, everybody is so inspirational in the space. Honestly, it's it's incredible. And, and I, I love being able to um, have something on from a lot of different designers. So you're kind of like rocking, the, rocking all the different designers at once. I love it. I love all the new jewelry things that are coming out as well. Like the accessories, the bags and the jewelry. I think we're just going to like the next level. I've been here for about a year and I mean, things have changed so much in the wearables market. Um, I love the, I mean, I love how, I love how non-realistic everything is, but I also love that I can just like, you know, put on a ring or just put on like some very realistic sunnies. I don't know. I like it all. Me too, is you could switch up your look so easily. <laughs> mm hmm Can you see yourself uh, bringing um, fidg fidgetal items into into play at any at any time, like extra utility? I mean, I wouldn't mind your your purple crop top with the purple skirt in real life. <laughs> um, you know what? Maybe um, I'm trying to think of new ways to bring creative ideas. You know, um, it's so hard because there's already so many um, wonderful creators out there that also are bringing new creative ideas to the space. Um, but but maybe I can bring those ones to life. The purple outfit. <laughs> yeah, it is. There are so many. Where do you get your ideas from? Where do you get your inspirations from? Speaking of creativity. So um, for the purple, the beach set really, um, so I'm from San Diego. I grew up in Southern California and that's, that's kind of a, a lot of the wear there is a lot of like beach casual type of stuff. Um, so that, that definitely was my inspiration for, for that one. Um, and then really honestly, everywhere I go, even more and more now, like I'll go somewhere, even in, like shopping in the mall and I'm like, that would be a great wearable. <laughs> Awesome. You need to take like you need to have a little digital scrapbook and just walk up to people and be like, strike a pose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll they'll never know that their fashion fits are being worn all over the metaverse. <laughs> Can you see yourself getting into stuff like uh, jewelry or hair? Yes, so um, I did try out hair um, at the beginning of this year when there weren't as oh, many options Yeah, that's out. right. You were saying you did the blonde one with hey, the, with the rhinestones. Fashion house. Thank yeah. you. And honestly, I never wear mine. I wear, I think, Doki's hair. I switch up to her hairstyles all the time. <laughs> I really like her stuff. Yeah, she's um, kind of the hair master. And then um, for jewelry, I pretty much just wear Soul Tree stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, me too. Not and I, I think like going to come on next, hours. but I really like how creative Appreciate she is with her jewelry. Well, we'll we'll talk you, about that with her when, when we get Saw a you chance. In here. Um, how are you liking this build? It's amazing, isn't it? It's beautiful. I really like it. I love the, the stairs in the front. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's fancy. That's what I have to say. Horace is a fancy guy. 
and he made us a fancy belt. Horace <laughs> <laughs> is a fancy guy. <laughs> I'll take that, though. I'll take that. <laughs> it's good. Thank you so much for talking with us, Goldie. Yeah, of thank course. you. It's been awesome having your stuff displayed here. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, Go. great. I'll, I'll work on it for the next uh, segue. <laughs> Quick bars. No. Email me some jokes. I'm on a box. Like every time I'm in the central I see something. Uh, they can't hear you on stream though. Did uh, did you get nope. my message about uh, DJ Raiden Tracks? The I think no way. people on the stream He's always thought it was maybe a little bit quiet. Oh uh, yeah. Love to see it. Okay, Nasty cool. Bean, what is good? Skull Tree I just is saw here. Skull tree. Is she here though? Did they lag out? Is she really here? Maybe she's just, I think she's got, uh, I think she's putting Stoney Jr. down right now. So we want to give Mama the time oh, to got the do that up. properly. Yeah, maybe, maybe we can oh. throw up some music for a minute. Hi. Oh, okay. Hold on. There she you? is. Hello, hello. <laughs> I just got your message. Oops, I'm unmuted. <laughs> Hi. There we go. Gold Tree, how are you? Good. Uh, I appreciate um, Goldie switching with me. I was having a little uh, issue with my son having a little meltdown. Right? They always melt down when you need them to not melt down, right? Seriously. I brought him back from the beach, and I had to take him out of the car while he was sleeping, and then he was just, like, pissed after that. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> Cute. But, uh, but we're good now. He's, he's chill. <laughs> Are you in the Metaverse build at all or just talking to us on Discord? Um, I am there. I, ha I hopped in. Hey, I haven't Horace. been able to say hello to anybody. Because, <laughs> um, you know, I'm just, I'm just juggling over here. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have to say that your wearables are amazing. I mean, they have taken Decentraland by storm for all the ladies in Decentraland. We are so happy to have um, your sexy, sexy look on us. Oh, so, so much. <laughs> really, they're amazing. I mean, there are great, gorgeous wearables for women out here, but I feel like you are a woman that is designing for a woman. Thank you so much. <laughs> I, um, I, you know, I, I like create like something that I would like to wear. You know what I mean? Like so. Anytime I see it on any of the ladies, I'm like super thankful and grateful. Well, if you would wear any of these things in real life, I, I hope to see you <laughs> wearing something like this in real life. Because this is crazy sexy. Oh, man. Maybe, maybe I, I'm going a little bit overboard. <laughs> um, I really love the very first dress you made. And, and correct me if I'm wrong, it is the long black gown with the black gloves and the yes. back tattoo. Was that the first one? That is the first one, yeah. I think it was the first time I'd seen a tattoo in game. Do you know? I don't know, actually. I'm, I'm not sure. I remember seeing you. It was, um, it was in one of Sinful's builds a long time ago, and I think it was the first time that we had really met. And you, tur you were wearing this. We were all admiring your dress, and then you turned around, and I think I was there with all the baby dolls, and we were just like, oh! <gasps> A back tattoo. I mean, it was next level. And I think uh, I had a crush on you from that day on. Oh, thank you. I do love like tattoos. I'm a big fan of big back tattoos. And the funny thing is I don't have a big back tattoo, but it's like my fantasy, I guess. Well, that's what the metaverse is all about, right? Right. <laughs> where, does, where does the art for the tattoos come from? Um, with... Well, I design them with stony eyes, so we'll like go through a lot of different patterns and stuff, and um, really, it just comes from us kind of just messing around and procreate. Oh, okay. wow. Right. They're so cool. If anyone in the build is here, like, you should definitely come check out the models, because they're so high detailed that even if you're standing right beside it, it's some of the highest quality textures I've seen in Decentraland. Okay. Yeah, I love them. I love them. And then the first short dress that you did, that one is my favorite. I, I love them all, but that one is my favorite. I think it says musical on the front. The one love dress? It does say yes. music, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I that's um, graffiti. 
inspired, uh, you know, street art. I grew up around, I have older brothers and sisters too, and um, a lot of them were in the, um, you know, street art culture, graffiti. Um, so it's always been a big inspiration for me. Just nice. All the colors and anytime you see like really, really good art on freeways, you know, when there's like real bombs up, not like, you know, tags and like, people just putting up their names but just like a lot of art goes into it and I'm super inspired by it and all the colors and well, we can see that you're inspired by it and, and I love that you're bringing it into into Decentraland as well I mean it's a super unique look it's it's very very you thank you thank you so much I have a lot of other things though like cooking and you know it's like catching up with my my ideas I'm like or my Mona catches up with my ideas actually <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome then you're at this like incredible stage in your life where you're just like bursting with creativity oh man I just like it's it's crazy how much you want to create and how like sometimes you just can't keep up with how much you want to do you know and it's like you gotta humble yourself and slow down and like take it easy <laughs> you know make, make some money I wouldn't know anything about that <laughs> We've talked about the dresses. Now can we talk about the jewelry? I mean, you rocked us with these sexy wearables, and then you start coming out with jewelry that every girl in town is wearing. Amazing. Um, thank you. I, um, I love jewelry. Like, I, I think I said it in an interview with Meta Trekkers that since, like, a very young age, I've always made my own jewelry, a lot of my own jewelry. and um, Really? Yeah, I, I mainly with like beads and stuff. I started off with beads because I would take apart necklaces. Like, you know, any of you, if you ever come across, if you go to thrift stores and you see these like beautiful beaded necklaces and it's not your style, you could always just cut it up and use the beads and make something else out of it. That's That was always like what I've, what I've done. Um, but I'm a really big fan of layering too. Like I love to wear a lot of jewelry. Um, so... That was well. Wow. You've brought you brought that to the metaverse because we're all layering it, and so grateful to be able to layer it. There's more to come. <laughs> and then you came out recently with the one with the with the thigh jewelry, which is just like next level sexy. Seriously. Oh man, we needed you know. It's like the top was like uh, glowing. You know, it's like well, our legs gotta show a little some some too. You know. <laughs> Absolutely, we're we're very happy about that. What's next for you? So, um, I definitely have so many ideas. Um, I might come up out with something that's just totally, I guess, unexpected. I, I guess I don't ever want anything that I do to be, like, kind of expected or, you know, like, this is, like, my only style because I am interested in, a, I, you know, I am drawn to a lot of different things. Um, so, it might be something totally different um, or it could be in the same vein of, you know, where I'm at right now. Um, I just don't know. I actually have some things that have already been made for a long time now that I've just kind of been sitting on because they're just kind of a little bit more simple, like kind of like everyday kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But I I like things that get me excited. <laughs> so, <laughs> I like, I don't know. I, I need like something will come that I know that I'm like, okay, yeah, I really, I really want to wear that or whatever and that will be the next thing i have a question um when you came into the space or when you started designing did you come in with a master plan did you say i'm going to be one of the top female fashion brands in decentraland you know like did you have that vision or was it more casual did you just were you just like oh i'll make this dress i'll make this dress and it kind of happened organically it definitely happened organically i definitely mm. did not have the vision of um you know, uh, I just, I guess I didn't imagine releasing as much as I have in this short amount of time. Um, but yeah, so I think it, it just happened more organically to me. I didn't really have that like mission at first. I just, when, when the first dress, I just wanted to wear a black dress and I was looking in the marketplace and I was like, there's no, like, I, at least I didn't see a black dress yet. Maybe there was a black dress. I just, I don't remember seeing a black dress. And, um, 
I wanted something a little like, you know, classy but sexy, something that would look good with like goddess wear if you throw on like a crown or cool in the casino. I don't know. Um, no, I think yeah. that's a really apt description of it, you know, it's elegant, but it still has kind of like a sexy goth feel to it, for sure. Thank you. Yeah, so it wasn't necessarily my mission, but I do have somewhat of a fashion background. I did start, um, I was making my own clothes um, at a young younger age, too. I, brought my, I bought my first silk screen when I was in my teens and had a little clothing line with my sister. And um, I've always been into manipulating clothes, like t-shirts or whatever and um so this is what, kind what of, do you mean by manipulating them oh like you know if you have like uh for my band i used to take the the menswear the t-shirts and cut them up and make them oh, totally different but for the females gosh i always admired people like you <laughs> <laughs> i mean like i always liked the idea of that but i could just never get there myself that's awesome yeah so um you said you had your own clothing line with your sister yeah, we started a little clothing line, and we would set up. Uh, I was doing all the pressing on it with my um, screen, my press uh, set up in my garage. It was really ghetto style, nothing professional, pro. Um, I love that. <laughs> but uh, we would do the festival circuit, so we'd set up like booths at the festivals and sell um, sell our, you know, our our designs and stuff. Incredible. So you've got you've got the fashion background. You're bringing it into Decentraland, and you're doing the jewelry, and you're bringing that into Decentraland, and you're a DJ, and you're bringing that into Decentraland. This is crazy. You're like the full package. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been DJing for? Um, it's been about. Uh, let me see. Um maybe seven years five seven six seven years maybe anywhere from five to seven years i don't know exactly <laughs> but um around there i i started off in a band playing keyboard and then um just keeping up with like you know 11 members nine members at times um is really hard and it can slow you down um so the whole venture into DJing was more like, because you just get to kind of control your own time. And mm -hmm. that, that's just a little bit easier, I think, than uh, managing a big group of people. Well, it's been uh, fantastic to see you playing inside Decentraland. I saw you at the Cromulent show with your, with your partner. Yeah, uh, Lion Child. Mm -hmm. Lion Child, right. That was great. Thank you so much. And then again at Digifun was an amazing show as well you really brought the sexy and we've got uh you coming to do our virgo party in a couple weeks as well so we are super oh, excited, so at Dollhouse excited. To have. i know we still need to talk and make some plans for that i know i'm super excited i'm gonna hopefully bring an awesome set for you guys <laughs> i'm sure no doubt about it thank you so much for talking with us today it was great to get to know you better and hear a little bit more about your story thank you so much for having me Hello, everybody. Bye-bye. Next up for our creator interviews is Parzival Kazuto. Oh, uh, dang. Yay. Make sure you're unmuted properly, Parz, if you have your voice unmuted. Uh, yeah, I'm all unmuted. I need to. What's up, everybody? Yeah. What's up, gamers? That's what we do. Parzival, this is, this is the first time I've heard your voice today. Metaverse crypto yeah, stuff. Today. today, I mean, this is the, today is the first time I've ever heard your voice. What? No, I didn't. I heard you on Beyond the NFT. Yeah, and Metal Party earlier this year. I don't remember that. <laughs> that was forever ago. It's like yeah, six years ago, Metaverse time. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your brand. For those of us who don't know. A little bit about my brand. Well, I'm just a humble shoemaker here in Decentraland. Um, <laughs> that's all I do. Shoes. I'm trying to be innovative on uh, utility and stuff like that. It's pretty much the main focus. You're a meta cobbler. Yeah, right, yeah. Meta cobbler, there we go. <laughs> I like it. Mint that. We need to mint right. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. I'm seriously right now, before anybody else. Right now. <laughs> 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 it's 
it's a race. <laughs> Kazu, you've been you've been one of the leading sneaker brands all year. I think that you okay. you I love that you had a roadmap and a plan since the very beginning. I think you were one of the first, at least that I noticed, that had a serious roadmap. Right. Okay. I think so. Okay. <laughs> where do you come up where do you come up with your ideas? Um straight out of the noggin no just uh i don't know i i i see how early we are um because i mean i've been around i've been around since like late september of uh 2020 i think it was uh just so to see the progression from that year to like july of last year when all the uh like the music festivals were happening and then now to see us a year later it i don't know like i i, I try and focus on just staying ahead which is hard is how <laughs> fast everything moves here but yeah just being innovative yeah and uh just figuring out a way to apply it to a shoe brand <laughs> what kind of uh sneakers would you say like are your your favorite to kind of base things on in, in the metaverse uh my favorite we haven't done yet <laughs> i would uh, uh i would really yeah i would uh, i would really like to take on like a kind of like a skate shoe um just because with everything that i do like um you know i, I try to keep like realism in mind and kind of make them like realistic as possible but also adding more of that like futuristic kind of metaverse feel um you know, so it is kind of something that you can't necessarily get in the real world. And um, so I, I feel like that would be really cool to tackle on is kind of like figuring out a way to add a futuristic spin to maybe like a skate shoe or something like that. Right, right. What, uh, what was your favorite skate shoe growing up? Because I know for me, at least, it's like I loved skate shoes growing up. I can't say I wear them so much anymore, but... Like a fat, Man. chunky, old school skate shoe, like a glow. Uh, right. I mean, you know, <laughs> I had, I had my man. I had my fair share of uh, the audios or adios, however you pronounce it. The big right, fans. right, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I had, I had Etnies. I mean, my favorite to skate were Vans. Some Vans, Chuck Lowe's. Those were a one to skate. But Elements, the high top Elements, were always nice. You know, right, right. That's the, that's the thing with shoes, man. Like you, you can do so much just within the realm of shoes. Yeah, yeah. There is so much, and like, I, I feel like Decentraland is still very untapped in in its shoe market, really, and its oh, yeah. possibilities. I agree. Do you think that you will um, only do sneakers, or do you think that you will? branch out into other types of shoes um so i mean I, i've thought about that a lot from like a business standpoint um but i think so i'm i'm probably gonna stay as far as the Cosito brand will probably always only be shoes uh but i do want to open up the possibility to like collab um i would like to like collab with streetwear brands and uh, open up the like Cosito brand to kind of get out into maybe some like hoodies or mm -hmm. pants or hats stuff like that. And and when you say collab with other brands, are you talking about other brands within Decentraline, or are you looking outwards? Um, both. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. cause uh, you know, I help uh Y two K and Horus and stuff. So um, you know, I do have some connects that I'm trying to work with outside of the central land and bringing them in and uh also you know helping kind of incorporate mine and his brand into that um but yeah definitely open more open to working with artists that are already here helping the community grow <laughs> yeah sure. it's amazing especially from your point of view being here for so long it must be really uh, incredible to to see the boom that's happened in the last six months Oh yeah, I mean it was it was actually crazy to see just like <laughs> like how barren it was like from 
2020 to like July last year to that uh, music festival happened mm-hmm. and then the music festival happened everybody came and just everybody was here for months like that, that was right. it was crazy and it was hard to keep up at that time I will say like it was it was very That's difficult so as a creator to kind of get awesome. in in that flood and then make a name for yourself and stand out from everybody else that's also creating you did it though for sure yeah i mean that's why like i had to throw in the utility and we started with um you know the free shoes uh for people who bought the mythics and the og collectors because i ran a pre-sale on the first shoe um and they got like a little special nft uh you should have one tang i do yeah my OG collectors so they all you know they and they will always get uh free shoes out of the collections uh but this next mythic i'm actually changing up the utility um you know because we gotta stay innovative <laughs> <laughs> yeah and some something i will say is connecting back to the collaborations and stuff is that uh we have been in talks with like large real world creators and stuff and the, the potential to create projects with them is super real and a lot more accessible than a lot of ways in uh, what I'll say real life or web two or something. But it's just, there's so many opportunities here and kind of the access to different large scale collabs is yeah, I something agree. that I think people can really take advantage of at this mm-hmm. point. And, yeah, I think a lot of big brands are looking for a, for a key in for a way in so as creators uh being open to and and reaching out to artists and and other brands inviting them in like you say it's it's a lot more attainable than people realize yeah for sure and i meant that specifically in reference with kazuto because like there there have been some big people who are interested because they do see like it's established and has kind of Mm -hmm content to go along with it and things like that so Mm -hmm. every every different aspect that you can add in uh i mean i won't say it always helps but it can definitely help lots of different aspects to your content is it kazuto or is it kazuto uh yes (laughs) so it's a kazuto it's kazuto (laughs) yeah i i slip up i pronounce it both ways sometimes but yeah it is it is kazuto and is it Parzival or is it Parzival? Yeah, yeah Parzival. Parzival. <laughs> yeah. I'm asking the uh, hard-hitting questions here. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Which is, it's funny. So, like, I mean, that's, I don't, I don't really, like, I, so I don't have a fashion background. I don't have, like, any kind of design background, anything like that. Um, I'm here because the community put me here I was interested in it and you know snowball and we're here today but um yeah it was you know just normal gamer geek and it's Parzival's from Ready Player One which is about the metaverse and it's one of my favorite movies which you should watch if you haven't <laughs> and then uh Kazuto is actually from Sword Art Online which is an anime about metaverse so, oh, so really? I've always just kind of had like a general interest in the metaverse. And so it's just like really exciting to see all this just like come into fruitation and Fruition. we're all like just Fruition. watching it build. And we're building it. We're here. We're doing it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's no joke when people say, I mean, it is kind of a cliche now when we're like, oh, we're early. But that's that's a fact. We are early. Right. Like we, we are the pioneers. Like we mm-hmm. are, we are the foundation of what this platform will be in five, ten years. Right. Like, and what are we doing? We're 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 dancing around. Right. right. <laughs> Billy T coins wearing ladies' clothing. <laughs> we're the pioneers in the space. <laughs> well, I love it. I love it. Yeah, I love it. yeah we're, we're just all here having fun, being creative, making connections. Yeah, it's a, be- it's a beautiful time, really. Yo. Right, yeah. Yeah. Oh, David's in the chat now saying that uh, they remember seeing you make your first kicks and, and how proud they are of you. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, thank you. 
as far as do you have anything coming out soon or any plans um yeah so the mythics for this second collection the trx um i should be dropping them soon after this weekend uh, nice. so hopefully within the next couple of weeks and like i said um that's gonna come with a new utility so anybody that gets those uh will get the entire trx collection sent to them all three shoes nice. um and then when they sell out i'm gonna announce a super super special giveaway that i'm very very excited about because it hasn't been done before but i'm just i'm gonna save the suspense and contain oh. myself because i'm oh, terrible at keeping secrets <laughs> not really but like it, it's so hard i'm so excited like i just want to like tell everybody what it's going to be but like i don't want to take away from it <laughs> <laughs> well thanks for that <laughs> yeah just a little tease for everybody <laughs> um other brands in the space i love to know i love to know what um what other brands that you admire or what other brands that are inspiring you in the space um so i mean if you know me i'm carrying around a sword at all times that's probably my favorite accessory um so not the, just the any sword but, uh, but a big big sword yeah, big good. sword no <laughs> single sword saw um, you out here not trying to love the hair for anything else <laughs> 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 we were right, all thinking find you. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. no but the uh so the crypto sanin one probably the one i'm wearing now that's probably my favorite one and then uh the one that coke smush released the dual swords mm -hmm. those are probably my two uh favorite swords and then uh, I've always kind of rocked with gold guys so clean <laughs> um, but I, I any, anything that comes out that's like somewhat futuristic or like you know you would think somebody would be wearing in like a cyberpunk era or see him walking down the yeah. street in neon Tokyo if that's on the if that's on the market I'm probably probably getting it <laughs> It's, uh, awesome. Well, there are a lot of uh, <laughs> cyberpunk type of wearables yeah. in the space and, and more and more coming all the time. Zesty, I have to shout out anytime someone says cyberpunk. I always think of Zesty. Yeah. 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 I mean, he is committed to the style. Totally. <laughs> I'm almost there, but sometimes the, the cyber cowboy comes out in me and I gotta throw on the cowboy. Yeah. Oh, there's Saiku.
the space hopefully we can keep evolving it into the future at times for future events yeah 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 that'd be good all right parsi k we love you oh we love you guys too thanks tang thanks horse yeah dude bye <laughs> All right. There Next up. Next. Virtual. How's it going? Hello, how are you? Yeah. How are you? I'm doing all right. How are you? Good. I want to know how how oh, good is your name? Is it, is it virtual or is it virtual? Virtual. No, it's virtual. Right. Yeah, the vert from virtual and the you from virtual. No, so that couldn't virtual. have been per more perfect virtual. timing. <laughs> Your, I mean, everybody says it, but your wearables are next level. I mean, you are giving yeah, us got, glam. It's so unbelievable. We need it. Drippy, drippy, diamond tonight. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
So I'm interested in adding some utility to these wearables so that you can have access to events. Um, Cowboy. You know, we're going to do some education and some entertainment at the property. Um, yeah, I've already talked to some. Yeah, it's, I was, I've been looking forever, and an amazing location popped up, and I was really excited to get it. That's great. Um, what was your first piece that you made in Decentraland? It was the 24 karat blockchain. It is. It's it's amazing. Yeah, like to see, uh, I've done 19 the pieces zombie. now, and wow. you can. I mean, you can really see the growth and the difference from one to the next. Nice, um, nice. Refraction killing it. I love we, your. I love the diamond choker that you came out with uh, recently. That's one of my favorite pieces. Choker. Yeah, I love the way chokers fit because mm. you can wear them with anything. Yeah, um, mm-hmm. they don't get in the way. Um, so I see myself doing more chokers for sure. Like the turquoise choker I did for this show. <laughs> I just um, picked it up last night. Awesome. Yeah, I saw that. Thank you. And I met with two jewelers. I have two jewelers that I work with, uh, one in Vancouver and then a gem cutter in Frankfurt or in Edar, oh. um, outside Frankfurt. And all three of us were in Vancouver this week. And we met to make this uh, turquoise necklace. So oh, it looks no. like we're going to make the bracelet in real life. Nice. Uh, which will be the first piece that I'm taking from the metaverse to real, rather than you know trying to think about going the other way. Yeah, cool. I'm in Vancouver. I'll come by. Come for by real? the studio. Yeah, for real. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck here because I'm, <laughs> I have co- I have COVID. So oh, I'm no. stuck. <laughs> okay, we'll talk afterwards. <laughs> I want to know where you're stuck. <laughs> I'm not oh, gonna come goodness. visit you though. <laughs> no, you shouldn't. You can go downstairs. I'm like Rapunzel up in my window. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll yell from downstairs. <laughs> or we could just meet here in the metaverse, right? This is the beauty right. of the metaverse. This is the safety, <laughs> yes, yeah, safe metaverse. I went to uh, SIGGRAPH last week. Oh, yeah. And I got mm-hmm. it. And I got oh, it there. Oh, oh, I, think it that, I love that show. It's my Dabbing favorite conference. On. That's great. Dabbing on. I think it's here all the time now, isn't it? Dabbing yeah, on the stream. It's my third here. time here for the show. Mm-hmm. Everything's interesting. Um, I noticed, like, uh, in especially your more recent pieces and I think some point recently, even on online on social media, you posted something about, do you recognize a pattern from a piece of jewelry you had made in real life and then compare it to a virtual piece, I think. Yeah. And I was just kind of curious because I, I do see these patterns and they're really cool on like the back sides of the turquoise pieces. Just kind of maybe, I don't want to say like, where do you get your inspiration from? But, that is the question, so, I guess. <laughs> I, I, I've always struggled with that question. Um, I see design as a puzzle. And I say that all the, the time. The more complex the puzzle, the more fun. I say you that know, all so the time. First, add all of the rules of Decentraland, you know, the limitations of surfaces and textures, mm-hmm. and then add yeah, all of the other right? levels. Not you know, like how many am I going to make? How much am I going to sell it for? Um, and then wow. one of the design wow. elements Carol in my that jewelry hard to look at. is oh, that Uber repeating WA way, for Walt Adler. Right, um, I named my collection after my grandfather. And <laughs> the, wow. that, if you see there's that the picture that I put that comment in, I think oh. uh, somebody had posted a picture of me wearing my bracelet that I made for myself, which was my first piece of jewelry. And that's a solid piece of silver that um, I cut out, and it's a repeating think, WA I pattern. The, the but you don't really know it unless I say it. And then, right, and, yeah. and then you'll see that pattern if you we'll look at we'll like my jewelry, and if you looked up Walt Adler jewelry, uh, you'll see yeah, that pattern really in the jewelry as well. Monday, um, and so now I'm bringing that same pattern into my pieces. My early pieces in Decentraland didn't have it. I was really more I'm learning up there really just what to do, how to do it. Um, and now I'm finally starting to like make the designs, you know, I, I would say more interesting or more metaverse first, you know, I'm not like learning how to make diamonds, how I'm really designing. So I would say that that pattern is then just another part of that puzzle. Oh. It's like, how am I going to incorporate it? Um, I, I really love that um, you're approaching it with, with this attitude, that it, that it is a puzzle, because I've heard designers come in and I get frustrated um, because they can't get their real life design to look the same because of Decentraland's 
restrictions and, and mm-hmm. technical limitations. And I try to tell them, you know, you need to start you need to start from the technical limitations and, and, and try and find the essence of your style and, and use the restrictions to your advantage. I mean, I am come from, I, my feeling is that real creativity happens when there are restrictions. When you do have to work around challenges, that's when your real creative juices start going because you got to figure out a way to get to the end. If you have no limitations and anything is possible, it's almost too much. It's right? impossible. It exactly, right? Exactly. You know, having the rules to the game is where creativity comes from. So I, I love that um, you're approaching it like that. Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. Yeah. It's, um, you know, how, like, you just keep pushing. Like, how do I make it look better? Like, how do yeah. I stay within these limitations and make yeah. it good? And yeah. I also love that you're bringing your grandfather's name into it. I mean, to have this kind of, like, a vintage yeah. feel to it that you're bringing personal history. I love that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've got a, uh, a watch that I'm putting out. I think it's coming in September in, in real life. Um, it's um, also under the same Adler name. My, my grandfather started stores in New Orleans. If anybody's from New Orleans or has been there, there's a store called Adler's, which is my family's. Like we've been in the jewelry business for 100 years. But I didn't, I didn't grow up in that side of the family. I grew up in Miami. So I never had anything to do with it. So then when I started, I was in the software business when I started, not in jewelry. Um, And I was really bored. So I started taking night school classes in jewelry making in LA at Santa Monica College and, and fell in love with it. And then I just was like, oh, it's in my blood. Like, this is what I'm supposed to do. Mm, Amazing. Fraction, break and an amazing down. story and now you're yeah. here in the metaverse yeah, and i'm loving it i mean it's just <laughs> it's it's so fun um i you know i don't even you know people ask me to design things now real jewelry and i'm not interested like it, it, ha- it doesn't have enough meaning <laughs> um, like if you want if you want an engagement ring all right i'll make you an engagement ring but it's going to be for the metaverse nice um, I have started playing with augmented stuff. Like I made some augmented earrings. Um, before I started designing for DCL, I was making augmented sculptures. Um, and if anybody would like to see one of mine, you can DM me and I can send it to you. But I, I do, um, I've taken some of my pieces of jewelry cause they're all in CAD and you can, if you have an iPhone, it's really easy. You can just put them on your grass, you know, like a Pokemon. And, and check it out and get inside. And it's the first time people are seeing my jewelry the way I designed it, um, instead of like seeing it in the physical form, which isn't how I designed it, because I designed mm-hmm. it on a computer. Mm-hmm. And now you can like really see the detail. And, and until now, you can only do that with a loop. That's pretty cool. Right, yeah. Wonderful time to be alive. Yeah, what a time. it really is. Oh, simple. I am looking at you in game right now, and I'm seeing you uh, oh, in your new, tur- your turquoise collection. Front of the Plus screen, I simple love meets the, that. Uh, the diamond sandals are great. So good. Right. I mean, that's kind of like if I had those in real life, I would love them. Yeah. This is pretty much me right here. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. So we've done the we've done the diamonds. We've done the turquoise. What's next for for virtual? What's next? So I'm working on a build. Um, my the treehouse. If you've been over to the treehouse, mm-hmm. that was my first attempt at learning how to build. Um, oh right, and, and I, have, I have to say, um, is that at eight p.m. Virtual is actually ten minutes did have some extra little features added so. in this build that we weren't actually able to really include. Uh, he had some videos and some some special coins Psycho. you could collect and things like that. So there were some added Betty features Beyonce. that he added on top for a nice little touch. Appreciate y'all Amazing. hanging we'll out with us on this Saturday. The property. Um, I think what we'll do is do a pop-up Thanks there up, with the treehouse with those features back. Oh, so good. We can actually do it all together. Um, yeah, for sure. Can we We had uh, the musician Kevin so kind to let us after i saw all of like the restrictions on music that, so um, that's i realized i had the, to get their name permission in, uh, to find a song the and so They're i asked Kevin if we could use because he has that song battle for peace 
which is a brilliant song about getting rid of guns and violence and, and dancing, which was like perfect for the metaverse. Mm-hmm. Um, and so that's the song that's supposed here. to be playing yeah, see? Mash the in mama. the treehouse. Oh, right there. In the pop-up. She got the crown. That'll be really cool. Yeah, crown. I can't wait for that. Yeah. I love the crown. Oh, I was just looking at that fit. Yeah. So I'm learning how to build. So what else is coming next? In front of the stream. Um, wow. I'm working. Like I've been getting a lot of calls from oh, brands and, and people in the jewelry oh. business trying to hey. figure out what they want to do. I do that and, all the time um, where I listen to Twitter spaces and, and work at the same time. You know, I, I do. Like, my first thing is, like, let's not yeah, put it. your watch in the metaverse. Like, like it Picasso. doesn't, I like, like I don't see the point. Yeah. Um, let's make something else. Um. You know, let's do an education series where we go to the mines and, and see where the stones are Everyone's being packing a sword mined here, and then actually you know? make something like digital. Really it's going to break so out from that. Like this, you know, this guy's got um, two different swords. You know, so that's like one of the ideas for the I turquoise necklaces. You know, this is him. based on a Sonoran tur- turquoise from a mine in Sonora. He looks and like so he is ready for a the idea that maybe we could have a piece of that here in Vancouver at the jeweler so that when you're in Vancouver, if you own it, you can go buy and check out that piece of of gemstone from the mine. (laughs) Sinful as yeah. um, Amazing. Do not touch. Ways of tying things forgot. together. Wow. E- exactly. Um, and, wow. and tying Instead them together uh, by way of an experience wow. that we can all share. And you have a dragon in, between which your is, legs. Which is incredible. I've talked to you some friends as well for, just happy to see for, uh, for jewelry. Yeah. And it's the same kind of thing. They just want to kind of bring their so current cute. line into the metaverse, into a store. And it's just like, why? There's so Little many other things you can do with it. So many other ways you can try to touch people. Yeah. So I'm glad that you're here to be a, a touchstone like for the them, um, oh, yeah. the so boots. you can guide them. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, this, this is the way. On the knees. Yeah. I mean, I recorded one of those conversations no that's on YouTube. The rollerblade. I mean, there's a lot in to be covered. Nice. Um, I like that. You can put up the virtual on the big screen. Thank you. Whoa, Thank you, Arsene. Who's the top over there? Who's rocking the top hat? Oh yeah, yeah I, I think we were exploring it a little bit throughout the. Neil. Did everybody find the way to the top of the uh, to the top of the tree? The I did not. If you follow me, I'll I'll go up there. Okay, where Stealth are you? Stealth in DCL. Yeah. Oh, this is I'm a, a um, oh, wow. summer okay. meta gala. Everybody is helping me now. The Metaverse Fashion Week Summer <laughs> right. Gala. Okay, summer flying. Gala. So there's a couple of. Um, here, as you can see, just chatting, interviewing the artists. Oh, there's those jumping muscles. Oh, I'm clothes, climbing up the, climbing up the headphones. Uh, it's so cool. You, know. you did it? You got up to the yes, top? Yes, right. I did. Oh, I love that the models of the headphones are so huge, and the model of the choker is so huge in the game. I think that's great. It's yeah, kind of like what you were talking right about when you were able to put it, put it out like a Pokemon and people could actually yeah, see what it's like close up the way you designed it. I love being able to so crawl all over this. It makes me want to buy the headphones. Virtual. So, good. <laughs> I, I actually yeah. marketplace open in another tab right now. <laughs> <laughs> but you can even see it on top. Oh, I saw there's like a surface yeah. that's all messed up. That's great. Yeah. I like that. I like that little Thanks. imperfection right there. Bracelets. Yeah. Oh, wait. I got to take a picture here. This is so cool. <laughs> I love the new feature that Madamus <laughs> made. Yes. He's a Each genius. This person has all their little wearables wow. on. Yeah, definitely big shout out to Madamus for doing all the coding. And if you guys are listening, Psycho. Uh, if you click on other players, it'll bring up a whole, yeah, a whole list of custom items that people are wearing and if you press the number two it should close the list that's oh, pretty okay. cool thank you I'll and try that. i guess so, the, the really cool part about it is that every every icon actually directly links to the marketplace i appreciated his perspective on characters. on metaverse fashion for sure i know i kind of um, like i, think if we I just want to collect everything now <laughs> That he's back. Yeah, well, I was like, like in here in the the yeah. <laughs> Did you buy it? Can we have a live yeah, buy? You know, I look with the headphones on. Let's have a live buy right now. <laughs> CK Bubbles and Mana Dacre, you are up next. Mm-hmm. Hey. Shall we uh, jump out of this man. fine pool and move on over to the other wearables? Lead the way. Okay, yeah. so we're gonna stay on the same level, but just go towards the, <laughs> there you go. the left of the oh my stairs. Gosh. 
Um, actually, never mind. We're gonna go upstairs. Just kidding. <laughs> Where's our what? cameraman? Your <laughs> thing's over here. Uh, sorry, Tang. We need to go to the arrow up to VIP. <laughs> okay. I'm I forgot just laughing where at seeing them like the, the moon top is placed. So I'd like to speak about Nana's like top. Yeah. They sent me a little blurb for me to speak about. So okay, I'll let everybody right up here. <laughs> come on up here to VIP. If you don't know where it is, there's a blue arrow kind of by the Meta Jewels booth. Walk into the arrow and it should kick you up, and then you'll see us all standing over here. I just want to say I see you, Mac, in the parcel, and she is wearing a full Cromulan fit with the Moonstone boots. I've never seen the boots with this fit before, and she looks good. Yes, she does. I know. I love the green hair with it, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's always rocking the crazy fits. Love <laughs> you, Mac. Okay, sorry. Didn't mean to steal the show. No Let worries. Us, uh, let's look at Mana D's top. This is a classic top. I know. It's been around for so long. It's I just you know I did not have this in my collection until like a week ago, two weeks ago, and I absolutely love it. Wow, really? Yeah, I, I, I just kind of slipped through. Yeah, I'm gonna read a little blurb that Laura sent me first, but I definitely have um, some things that I'd personally like to talk about it. Um, but basically they said this was the first wearable they published uh, in December of last year. And at the time there were very few wearables for females. So that was kind of the inspiration for why they created this top. They said the moon and starry pattern represents the dream of the metaverse and the glow sticks represent the rave party spirit, which I think a lot of us here in Central Land can relate to. Um, it's also the first wearable to introduce glowing nails. Um, and then the, the male version also has nails as well. And so that kind of like leads me a little bit to my personal connection to it because I really do remember when I came into the space, um, seeing this top, seeing the glow nails and being like, oh my gosh, somebody else is doing nails in here. I love this. I need to know who it is. I have to find out. Um, and then we uh, we met <laughs> after that. I think it was, I can't remember the very first time we met, but I do know um, when they had their, their DAC rebuild, if anybody had been to that, it was basically a giant cocktail glass and we all got to the party and the drink. Um, that was kind of like a really cool moment for Mana and I to connect and like get to know each other a little bit more. Amazing. I do remember that build. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. So, um, you know, this top has always been, you know, really fun for me. I love to throw it on with a lot of things. I think um, it's cool because it, it is a top, so you can wear it with all sorts of stuff on different bottoms, you know, different shoes. You can also layer the styling with it um, because it's a top, and, and even though it has the nails and jewelry, you can, like, double up the jewelry, especially if you want to add some extra glow to it. I think that uh, what I like about it is that it is a crop top, and there's still not too many crop tops in Decentraland, so I, I, love, that, I love that look. Uh, what I love the most about it, though, are the glow bracelets and the glow necklace. I think when we talk about jewelry in the metaverse, we often forget that Madden was one of the very first ones to do not only bracelets and a necklace with her wearable, but also the nails. Nice. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. So, you know, credit goes, credit goes to them. Yeah, and when you think about the crop tops too, like you said, like it's, you know, there's not many that have a lot of patterns. It's usually a solid color. So mm -hmm. this one's just a nice like touch. Uh, and the glow is just really cute too when you wear it. Yeah, it's it's not overkill. It's it's still simple. It's still super cute. They, they didn't go crazy with the pattern. I like it, it goes with so many things. I'm definitely, I, I can't believe that I hadn't, that it wasn't in my collection until a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I, I felt uh, very lucky to have gotten it early on because, like I said, the moment I saw the nails on it, I was like, I need to have this. Mm -hmm. this is the only way for me to have nails in the metaverse at the moment, or at least in Decentraland at the time that of the wearables I had seen. Because um, I'm pretty sure, I mean, maybe someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is the first wearable that may have had nails. I know. As far as I know, for sure. Yeah, because Mr. Dingy had the bathing suit, but that one came after. So oh, this I don't madness know. was around a long time ago. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So if anybody, you know, has seen other ones, I'd like to know. But if not, I would love to give Mana that credit as being the one, the first one to bring nails to the metaverse. I think we can. I think we can give him that credit. <laughs> we love <to> <laughs> um, I'll, I'll put up a sign 
we'll make a plaque, a small monument. First nails ever, exactly. Um, I think some people are asking about the the pronouns potentially. I think Mana prefers she. I just use they often just because I'm a they and it's just kind of second nature in me. So uh, not trying to miss, miss, you know, pronoun anybody. But um, yeah, so this is Mana's top. Um, I, we can go downstairs down to the first level and see some more work that I've done with Mana Daiquiri. Do it. So it's awesome to see how many people are actually uh, engaged and following us around on the tour. Oh yeah, we've, we've learned from the ABC's tours that people, people like to be <laughs> on an adventure. Um, but if you come over here, I don't know if y'all see me, uh, to the left of the stairs, once you come down, and to get downstairs, you go back to the arrow you came up with, and it'll kick you back down. Horace, I really like these spacey pedestals that you have put everything on. Thank you. That's um, a brand that my company Y2K is working on called HoverTech, and we're going to be making like displays and different things for the metaverse if anyone needs them. Very cool. That's really cool. I like these a lot. It's just like kind of a fun cyber kind of theme. Yeah. And you're just you're, you're going to be selling the asset? Like the little asset? Um, pack yeah, I think at this point we won't even be selling them. We'll just give them away to people. But, oh, wow. I'll, yeah. I'll take three. <laughs> yeah, good to know. I was like, I may have a boat soon. Um, if we want to get back into the nails, though, um, if you look on either side of the sort of display here, we've got the Glamour Opal nails on the right, and that's kind of like a purple, opal-y uh, color, and then we have the Candy Pride nails on the left, um, and those have uh, real-life bits from my nail <laughs> collection of things that I use to put on nails. Um, yeah, so this was just like a really great collab. You know, I mentioned uh, when Mana and I met at, or like talked about that build in the daiquiri glass and how we had a really great connection there. And it really was because I think it was um, Dom or ACR who mentioned one time when we were there saying, hey, Mana, why don't you and CK do a nail collab? And, and we were like, yeah, we should. And I, I've told people before, I was so new into the space that I was like, you know, just so excited, but I was also like, I gotta play it cool, I don't know this person, they've been here a lot longer than I have, I can't just be like, coming in, let's make something, so I tried to be all casual about it, uh, and I remember I DM'd Manda Daiquiri and was just like, hey, if you ever want to, let me know, and just kind of like left it open-ended, um, but what's funny is, as the sort of publishing fee was potentially gonna go up to, I think, 500 US dollars um, during that one week it was, we kind of had this moment of panic being like, hey, if we ever were gonna do this, should we do it now? <laughs> and so then we, uh, we collaborated on these two nail sets and it was a really great collab because, you know, part of it was showing off my own nail art to Mana and being like, these are the types of styles I have. These are some shapes. These are some, you know, kind of ways of placing the adornments on the nails that I do IRL um, and translating that to digital. But then also, like I said, with the Candy Pride set, I had all these sort of lollipops and candy things and I laid them all out and took some pictures and sent it over to them. and. Um, she just took all of it and and really just brought it to life in a way that I never anticipated because you know I like when somebody can take a creative idea I have and like not only execute it but then bring it to life in their own way so it has like them within it as well because I can have somebody technically make something at any point you know I can just find somebody who has a technical skill and they'll make it one for one exactly as I may have like drawn it out or sketched it but I really do love when somebody adds a bit of themselves within it so you can see it's like a true collaboration and that's mm -hmm. definitely what it was for for yeah, Mana and I amazing yeah. and how, how you have just opened up your first store in the real world as well right your first nail art store 
Yeah, so I did a pop-up in London a few weeks ago, um, and that was kind of like an exclusive launch. Like, I'll do it there first. Um, but I'm, I'm still planning uh, to do a, a global launch of the site very soon in the next few weeks. Um, there's going to be a, a nail pop-up tomorrow with Manu Dacri and I um, mm-hmm. on a build actually right next to Baby Dolls. Um, it's going to be very close. It's just like two doors down or something like that um, on a tray use land. And I've been doing that build with 69 and with Manu Dacri. And it's going to be a fun pop-up because, like I mentioned, when we submitted the wearables, we didn't really do an official launch for it because... Uh, At the time, I was working on the other piece that's here that I'll talk about in a second. Um, But basically, yeah, we just kind of put it out there to get it on the market and haven't done an official, like, hey, everybody, you know, here's the nails. So we're doing that fun pop-up. It'll be a multi-floor experience, uh, kind of two floors of nails, and then the top floor is going to be just like a fun party floor. But we have some cool stuff we built together for this pop-up that we hope you like. Um, And the biggest thing about it that... You know, I'm really excited to uh, announce is that I'm stepping into uh, my first kind of attempt at a fidgetal. So if you buy the Candy Pride set and or the Glamour Opal set, you will be entered essentially in for a giveaway for a one of one uh, IRL version of that nail set. Super so cool. love yeah. that. So I made some press-on sets. I've shared uh, at least videos of the Candy Pride set so far. Um, I will be releasing some footage of the Glamour Opal next. Uh, I'm still editing some of those reels, um, but I will be releasing that very soon before the event. Um, And yeah, so if you buy the wearables on the marketplace now, then you'll be entered to win. And as long as you are comfortable uh, giving your address or however you prefer to do the shipping, we will figure it out. But um, as long as you're comfortable with it, I will ship you. Uh, your very own nail set let's go I'm excited I hope that I can I I believe we had a conversation earlier where you said you accepted bribes (laughs) (laughs) well I don't know about for the nails I kind of want to be fair with that I was accepting bribes for the VIP but maybe in the future of nail uh, situations we can we can work some bribes out Good. Well, I cannot wait for your event tomorrow. It's um, super exciting. I bet I'll be being able to see it across the street. Yeah. Uh, from my place. Yeah, I know exactly the path you're talking about. So that will be fun. Yeah. Um, but going into, I guess, the, 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 it's not even the third wearable. It's actually my first wearable, um, which is actually kind of how I got started within uh, Decentraland, like being a type of creator in general, because I'm not, I'm not a 3D artist. Um, I do have a background as a creative director, so a concept ad campaign, campaigns. I have a graphic design uh, kind of background as well. I went to school for that. So I have capabilities within Adobe and stuff like that, but nothing within the 3D space. Um, so this was a, a fun wearable to create because it was actually a part of the Face Fashion House. Um, they do these grants uh, each month, and I won the grant for May, which I was super surprised to win because I had only been in Decentraland for like a month. So that was really cool to be selected as such a, a newbie. Um, and I got to work on this with Mitchie Todd, which was really great. Mitchie's my, my bae. Uh, I love Mitchie so much. Uh, and it was kind of the same thing as my collab with Mana Daiquiri, where I put together a cute pitch deck and, and some ideas with some sketches. And uh, I was like, okay, these are what I'm thinking. Let me know if you're leaning towards any of it. And we we dis- we decided upon the bubble top because that was sort of one of them I had. And I think Mitchie did such a great job adding their own touch to it and the way, you know, because it's similar to the sketch, but it's not exact. And it really does have that Mitchie kind of flair to it. And the best part was um, we were working on it and we were like, what color should we make it? And I think RGB had just come out like a week before or something like that. So Mitchie was like, what if we do RGB with it? I was like, great. But then we talked about how sometimes it's, you know, you don't always want to be so matchy-matchy to your hair or whatever the RGB is pulling from. So we decided to add a kind of a, or he decided to add a pink hue to it so that um, you had to kind of play around with the color spectrum to see where you kind of net out on the exact color. So I think that's really fun because it gets you playing with a feature that maybe you don't uh, play with too often because you may just 
select the the set, like the different color itself, but not so much the saturation or the the brightness or darkness. So I really liked that feature he added to it, and it was a great collab. And I think everybody, you know, from Face Fashion House, like UMAC and Anthony, and and all the other winners involved, it's you know I feel very honored to have been a part of that. And and look where it's led me so far. Incredible. Yeah, you've had a, such an incredible origin story so far. And yes, this very much does look like Mitchie's work. It's got his uh, his recognizable style for whatever he does. I, I wish we could have seen Mitchie here today. I know he was visiting the build last night and, and took a few pictures. But uh, I oh, guess Mitchie's he's... Oh, uh, Mitchie's here. What? Mitchie's here. He, he was trapped in another realm. <laughs> Australians are stuck in another realm, <laughs> as they should be. No, just kidding. I love Australians. I love Australians. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, awesome to hear your story and to hear what you're doing in the space and to, to hear your future plans. I know that everybody is going to go to your event tomorrow. I'm excited about it. Um, and thank you so much for speaking with us. Yes, thank you. And yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Mana. I love you all. Thank you to everybody yeah, who's so purchased cool. them and, and just given me so much love for everything I've done here. I, I love you all back. Super excited about our next guest. It is Refraction. Refraction, are you with us? Hey. Refraction. Hey, what's up? Can you hear me? Hey, how are you? Uh, hey, good. <laughs> Where are your dress? Are you in the build? Yeah, so it's on the second floor. Kevin was admiring your foxy tails earlier. <laughs> second floor, let's go. That's on the second floor, okay. Oh, oh there you are, I just ran past you. It's in the dead center of the second right. floor. Yep. Oh, it's such a nice display. Amazing. That's Tell us about yourself, right now, Refraction. Refraction. So, I've been designing with SolidWorks for about 10 years, and then I've been and basically started in November. I was tinkering about um, about two months before I decided to try making my first wearable. And when I designed my first wearable, that's the one on the left oh, here from the, the dress, from the front view. That's the Midnight oh, Maiden dress. So that one was inspired by one of my friends. Uh, she's always posting photos of like oh, Renaissance oh, fairs and, oh, and all this cosplay oh, stuff. So oh, if, if my friend ever uh, decides to join up dancing. on the, yeah. the metaverse here, you know, she's she's got some gifts ready for her. <laughs> <laughs> did she know that you've been your inspiration? Um, well, I did tell my friends that I'm designing women's wearables for them if they ever decide to <laughs> drop by, but I didn't say what. Wow, um, but it's, it's nice to be somebody's <laughs> muse. It's nice to be somebody's muse. Yeah. And so the second one was also based off the, the same inspiration, that's the Starlight Maiden skin there. Um, colorful Carol is wearing one too. <laughs> um, and then the third one was based off of a, another fan, so she's Pacific Islander uh, from Hawaii. She moved to Washington a couple of years ago. Um, that's where I'm from, Washington State. Wow, no. <laughs> she sent me a, a sarong. <laughs> wow, so, uh, yeah, there's yeah, there's a sarong for yeah, this uh, yeah. swimsuit because <laughs> yeah. I think it's amazing. I haven't seen a bathing suit that has a sarong on it, and you know that I I think I was the first person to buy this. I know I tried to be the first person yeah, to buy this. I think you might have been. <laughs> I, I, oh, I think that's all the few times that I've made oh. it, I think it had actually been on the marketplace for under a minute, and I was buying it. Yeah. Uh, I love it. I think that it's so baby doll, and uh, oh. I love the way it looks in the champagne pool. I really, really love yeah. this wearable. So, uh, the pink polka dot 
shots there because I wanted to wanted it to also match the the baby doll. So, yeah, basically my designs are are pretty much inspired by people that I've met, um, mostly people that that um, I consider really good friends. <laughs> Amazing. How long have you been working in Blender? In Blender, uh, since November. So I started November uh, just tinkering with it. And then, yeah, beginning of January was when I started for for designing wearables. And I know you have a lot of other oh, wow. designs as well. You have the um, salsa dress, which everybody wears. Uh, I really like that one? because it's that top one? and bottom, which I love. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> So that one's based off of a friend back from high school. Um, so the thing about myself is that I have arthritis. I've had arthritis since I was uh, two and a half. It's, wow. it's called uh, juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, or um, the one I specifically have is systemic onset juvenile rheumatoid yeah. arthritis. And so... I went camping with um, the group from the Arthritis Foundation um, through the Children's Never Hospital know. in I, LA. Know. I, and so I, I'm from California originally, and then I've moved definitely to stopped. Uh, and one of my friends that I met there, by the she avatars. struggles to to walk, but she loves dancing. So she's she's one of the strongest women that I that I know. Um, so this was. The salsa dancer was inspired by her, basically. Oh, it's an amazing story. Uh, I like yeah. the, I like the dress Happens to the best of us, Saiku. Happens to the best. Incredible. Has she seen it? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that would be crazy if you showed it to her? Maybe. I mean, we haven't. We actually haven't spoken in years. So. <laughs> that might um, be a little since, crazy. Since I moved. <laughs> it might be a little nuts. If we yeah. all dress up in the salsa dress and send her a postcard from the metaverse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, no, it's cool how things like that can inspire things even a long time later or whatever the situation may be. That's I like true. that story. You have done uh, wearing leg braces from, from I, what I What's remember. up, shake and bake? Wow. Yeah. Shake and freaking bake, baby. Uh, you've done other wearables shake and as bake. well. Shake and bake. Freaking Bobby. Wearables, which, is, good. which is really exciting. And also, you've done some hair. Yeah, this hair is very new, very recent. Chilling. We're um, at this uh, summer gala with, 2022 uh, in the central land. <laughs> Talking so to a lot of developers and designers and more on myself because I started growing out my hair and I put it over my shoulder. Um, I haven't done braids. That's, that's uh, something different. Um, but the reason why I started growing out with my hair was was uh, so before. My aunt's passed away from cancer, and so I decided I'll Lots grow the is and, always just um, staring. Yeah, it's something I want to cut and donate later. I see you, Mazza So you have long hair in real life? Yeah. yeah. Colorful yep. is just dancing her life away. I mean, I shouldn't ask. We shouldn't really be. <laughs> I have to ask now. It's down to my belly button. Like the top hat, Neo. Oh, like the top long. hat. <laughs> wow. Amazing. <laughs> What um what other kind of where I, I noticed that the last wearable that you did was the was the crazy fox tail. Are you going to be yeah. leaning more into sort of these fantasy <laughs> type of fits? What's up, motherfucker? Do you think stick in with more of the more realistic dresses? Dave is just fabulous. Every once in a while, Called fashion we do honey, fantasy look style fashion, look uh, wearable, and those will likely be mythic. Mm hmm. Good plan. Yeah, I like it. I love the um, wings that Daybed is wearing right now that have the uh, covered eyes. I think that's such a unique touch to have her kind of blinded like that. Something different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess I didn't so, realize how many wearables you had out so far. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you know much about angels, but Seraphim, mm -hmm. they... Um, basically have their eyes covered in the face of God 
<laughs> so that's where I got the idea from for the veil there. Love it. Oh, I do recognize that. That's really cool. Very cool. Anything? Uh, anything coming up? Anything on your what's in what's in your blender? What's in your blender right now? <laughs> so right now, um, there's. There's one model that I made where I built the, the base model from ground up. So, so one thing you'll notice about the models that I currently have is that most of them are based off of the Decentraland model and, and are the, that are mashed and slightly modified. Um, so this next one is the first one that I'll have that's completely from scratch. Mm. That's, that's a, a body model. I should say. I mean, the the wings and the nine tails are also definitely yes. from scratch. <laughs> what kind of modifications have you made to the body? Will it still um, be humanoid or? Oh yeah, it's still good. But it just um, some details are modeled rather than texture. Um, so the shoulder blades, for example, you'll be able to see how the light wraps around the shoulders. Um, same with belly button and stuff like that. Wow. I can't wait to see. I got um, of, uh, designers in the space. Other brands that have inspired you. Brands that you like to wear yourself. Can you tell us a little bit about your, your likes? Probably always wearing um, the jewelry from Sultry Dubs. Well, almost always. Um, so, like the shades here that I'm wearing is, uh, is those are her shades. <laughs> um, definitely my favorite. Let's see what else? So, Doki, I like her hair. Those, yeah, so like those timeless curls, man. Yeah, the, that's my favorite. Also, um, who else? So there's the uh, watch by Blues Media. Oh. Yeah, I do you have the watch on right now? Let's see. Check it out. So this one is is the rose watch. There's also um, also two other. Wow, maybe, that maybe that is maybe, nice. I forget how many other watches. Um, I'd have to recheck, but yeah, there's a there's a couple of them. You have a watch collection? Uh, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I love all the accessories that are coming out. The watches, the the sunglasses, the jewelry. I mentioned it before. I think it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I've been thinking of uh, maybe doing like a, a pocket watch sometime because I actually do have a pocket watch in real life. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not sure. Maybe. <laughs> I think you could add that onto a wearable. It'd be pretty stylish. Yeah, I just got to figure out, like, uh, what kind of engraving to put on it, you know, that'll really stand out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was awesome to be a creator in the in the metaverse and, and have these kind of things that we can think about and think about engraving and, and, and things that we'd never be able to do if, it, if it, we didn't have the metaverse. We don't have the years of training to go to metal school and blacksmithing or watchmaking school and even the opportunities. But here we are in the metaverse able to do so many things so quickly and, and get okay. to share, share, it with our, share it with our community as well. I really like the videos that you did at the metaverse fashion house um, a few times showing all yeah. your showing all your dresses. Those were really well done. What did you do? What did you do those in? Right in front of you. Time to get right in front of Yeah. Of you made like a yes. little video. Whoa, okay, yes, so that's that's the, the, going the crazy. The that's the mama. Yeah, negative one eighteen ninety one. I also like I like the way you did the video, how you were kind of walking and then you were changing your outfits at the same time that you were walking. Oh, I got the nice dance. I like that, that dance. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, oh like that. nice. Oh nice. yeah. Oh nice. yeah. Oh snap. I don't know. I was just gonna say one last little detail before. Um, watch out with that sword. We, oh. we end up. Oh. Wrap up. It's, it's a dance off right now. Oh, oh all right. The oh. They, they have like these purple textures on them. It's kind of. Uh, I don't even know how you describe it really, but it's a. It's a really cool know. purple and black texture. Well, those were supplied by Refraction. Oh! They supplied 
a bunch of different textures for us and some furniture pieces that uh, take all my crypto take all my crypto wow. some additions we are working on for future versions of the oh, wow. build so i yeah. just wanted to add that in there because i thought they were really cool textures <laughs> Our refection is amazing. They made me a pillow too, <laughs> which is awesome. <laughs> for if I ever have, if I ever have a sleepover. Oh, oh, they did that out of pocket, yeah. out of pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Right, haunted, right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, that's cool. I, I appreciate you uh, telling us about your wearables, and I definitely look forward to seeing what you do in the future. Thanks. Thank you, refraction. Thank you, Refraction. Thank you for my fabulous Next dress. Next up, we have Rustan. Is Rustan hello. in the room? Hello, hello. <laughs> Hi, Rustan. You hello. are a lost interview for the, for the night, and uh, I think that we can't pick a better person to end on because... Uh, but, but not least. Last but not least, you yeah. are the wearable... You're the nightlife of Decentraland. <laughs> The after hours, the, the dark heartbeat of Decentraland. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> poet this tag. Is, this is the first time in my life yeah. that my artwork was displayed alongside a, a bong with a dick. <laughs> I'm telling you. What an honor. <laughs> I, love, I love the bong dick. <laughs> I didn't have a dick. I, I didn't you think you would think. Okay. <laughs> I love the colors on it. I love the colors on it. <laughs> yeah, the bong the dick. Colors. I told you. <laughs> and, your, your latest wearable has taken the metaverse by storm. You had an amazing party just last week uh, where everybody. Thank you. Yeah, that was to, really exciting. It was, was a beautiful display of bodies. <laughs> and by bodies, I mean booties. <laughs> it was. It was a lot of fun. Tell us yeah. about tell us about cool. what you're doing. I mean, this whole journey has just been a, a spontaneous adventure that keeps playing out. Like I keep making good mistakes or accidental successes. Happy you know? accidents. And, uh, what mean? It's just been a hell of a time. <laughs> what do you mean? This isn't all planned out perfectly. No, I don't plan things. <laughs> I'm, I'm spon I mean, I'll plan it like instantaneously and then deliver within a few days. I mean. You know the story behind the, the pink crop top. I mean, we talked about it, and the next day it was out. Mm-hmm. That's true. Um, I'm actually, I have, like, a, I'm in the middle of a couple of collaborations right now, which I don't usually do, and it's driving me crazy how how slow people can be, because <laughs> I'm pretty quick. Oh, so, okay, um, but the are you collaborating with anybody? Hey, hey, hit it. To you. Hit the switch. Um, I don't, I'm in the middle of three. The one I'm on right now is is I'm making my Clonex wearable. So I'm, the co the collab is waiting for the legal team to approve me I see. my use of it. Hey, that's changing um, with each person. I, don't know, I can't yeah. remember the other two. There's, so there's I'm, I'm rocking that. Okay. Artist that I'm collaborating yeah. with. Yeah, that, um, I finished my part of the deal two months ago, so I'm just waiting. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Long time. Time. It is, especially in the metaverse. We do things so fast here, and it's and it's, sometimes it's hard to remember that the rest of the world does take a long time. And if I was to tell them that we were all just starting out six months ago, they'd look at me like we were crazy because we're the uh, the established people in the space, but we're all still, you know, six months, eight months old. Yeah, I mean, what's cool is with the Clonex thing. You know, I own the Clonex from the Mountain Dew build, and you get. Um, Nice. commercial IP rights with the one that you own mm -hmm. and so I didn't hesitate and I dove in on that cut the 3d um, files and I put it in the tranquility spa and, and now I'm building the wearable and you become a part of the creators forum as a holder creator uh, which you had to apply for and I did that and so I get to see yeah, what everybody's going. working on and <laughs> Um, no, because it was this weird thing. Most of the people that are holding and trying to create are, are like on Blender 101. Like they're oh, really? pretty inexperienced. And I'm like, I'm already how many wearables in and, you know, already coding my own scenes and stuff. And I, you know, they're just trying to get like, like a statue put on their own cyber. And it's like I already have created immersive experiences. So it's like, it's pretty cool to have like put all the work in over the last, however many months it's been since October, since I really 
dove into, you know, Blender and SDK and all that stuff. But yeah, I work fast. I work really, really fast. So oh, it's exciting. Really it's hard. fun. I can't wait to get this blown hey, wearable out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel like you got yours at a good time where uh, everything that connected to it came out around the same time, whereas other people were probably waiting for so long and maybe getting... Yeah, I, was talking, <laughs> I was talking to someone yesterday who, who had sold his uh, a couple months ago and, and was regretting it now that he heard that right. the files are out. Yeah. Right. Somebody sold a Clone X? Yeah, months ago. <laughs> for, I mean, I think he had minted it, you know, for, for when it when it was... I don't remember how much it cost to mint, but it wasn't what it's worth now, you know? And so he sold yeah. it and he made a lot of profit on it. I'm sure he did. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, what did they come out for? It was like three ETH or something like that. There was yeah. some kind of a there was some kind of an auction scandal. I kind of remember. Mm, I don't even know. But, yeah, and I remember thinking three ETH. What? No. <laughs> what a bargain. <laughs> um, how many different versions of body paint do you have now, Ruston? Like a virtual body paint? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure real life is uncountable. Um... <laughs> Just two, I think. I mean, it's it's three total because the first is upper and lower body, but it's two body paintings. Oh, okay. I think. Is the one displayed here? Is this the first one? That's the first, yeah. Right. And then and then of course like male and female each have their own. Yeah. So. Cool. So. And then your other wearables. I wanted to ask you. I never had a chance to ask you about um, your white rad jacket. Where did the idea for that one come from? Oh, that's the, so. So if you know me well, you know that I don't like doing commissions and stuff. <laughs> and I've even I've even stopped doing commissions in in real life with body paintings. And um, you know, people are always asking me to do commissions, and I, I hand the jobs off to people I know. But uh, the rad jacket. Um, one of my big collectors <coughs> wanted to put out a oh, decentralized and wearable, and he was asking me advice. And he wanted to make a T-shirt, and I was like, "Don't make a T-shirt." And uh, <clears throat> and then I just sort of offered because he'd invested so much money in me. I offered to make him the wearable, and I said, "Let me think about it for a little bit." And the brand was um, it's Mad Pups, who is curating me uh, on Nifty Gateway. I'm going to have a drop there on Nifty Gateway, yeah. September eighth. And um, so I was thinking Mad Pups, Mad Pups, Mad Pups. And I thought Mad and I thought Bad. Michael Jackson, Bad. I love Michael Jackson. And so I was like, I want to make a Michael Jackson jacket. And the back was supposed to say Mad Pups. But um, I did it. He loved it. His partner was is not a Decentraland person, so he didn't fully get it. He was like, they, they have like a whole community of people attached to the Mad Pups that they would have airdropped them all to. And so he had uh, reservations about doing it, about like MetaMask wallet and stuff like that. And, and I just felt like uh, when I finished it, I was like, I want this for me. I don't want this for anybody else, you know? And so, so because he had reservations, like even the slightest doubt to me, it's like, you don't get it. Um, then it's then you know what tell me when you're ready i'll make you something else this one's mine and i'll sell this and so i switched it to rad instead of mad pups and and that was that you know i mean it's like i don't know you can sleep on stuff but if you deal with me if like if if i have an idea like there's a high percentage that it'll be successful just just speaking from my career you know so it's like don't 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 sleep on me and if you if you like if you hesitate even the, the least bit, then I'm going to take it and run with it. And it's, you know, there's only like 25 of them left in Legendary. <coughs> so oh, dang. it's exciting to Ooh. me to to go back to that guy and say, yeah, I sold it and made some money. So uh, let's make that t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the confidence and, you know, it's, it's confidence and it's swagger that comes from experience. And that's the best kind of confidence there is. Swag. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it could be mistaken as, as overconfidence or cockiness, but I just... Track really record, man. Oh, you got a track years, record. So. 17 years. I've been waiting my whole life for the metaverse, you know? Yeah, me too. I think all of us are. That's why we're the early ones. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. What's next, Tristan? Are you clone X and then? Clone X and then the drop, the, the nifty gateway drop, which is exciting. Um, there's... There's five uh, unique 
cyberpunk body paintings that I did, and it's going to be um, accessibly priced at $100 each, and you buy four, good. and you get the fifth. Nice. And the fifth, the fifth is my favorite one. Um, and then uh, I, don't, I don't know if they still want to do a wearable drop with that, but we'll figure it out. I'm still waiting. It was supposed to happen again. Like, here's, that's another collaboration that was supposed to happen, like, the beginning of July. And so now it's September 8th coming around. Yeah. Like, if, if it was all me, which it usually is all me, it would have been done in June. Yeah, big companies, though. Lots of moving parts. Lots yeah. of papers that need to be stamped and signed off before they can go to the next step, right? Yeah, that's what I love. That's why I don't like doing commissions. I don't like micromanagement. I don't like um, people telling me what to do. I kind of shut down a little bit. I don't like money that much. It, it really complicates things. And, and so I, sorry, my dog is excited to chat with you guys. Um, I like working from the heart, and I, I like uh, how contagious that can be, and people can feel it, and, and uh, that's what I live for. You really were born for the metaverse. Yeah. Uh, I've been asking everybody tonight about uh, designers in the space that they like and, and, and wearables that they've been inspired by. I'm going to ask the same question to you. <laughs> That's a hard question. I mean, I have so many wearables that I bought, but I <laughs> love Barnes what... Joe's stuff. Mm. Barnes Joe does some cool stuff. Um, I love Black Note stuff. Mm -hmm. I know, I think Black Note's done some of the ice poker wearables. I love pretty much all the ice poker wearables. They're stunning. I just found out that Black Note did the um, Apollo jackets. Yeah. You know, that like yeah. always wear and stuff. Those are amazing. Yeah, he's done some crazy things. He did, um, he did, uh, Zeta's um, fetish doll. And, yes, uh, and then the of course the, the new latex suit that came yeah. out a couple of weeks ago, yeah. which is just that. Uh, yeah, it's nice really, one. really good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is he here by any chance? I haven't I seen him. No, but I did see Orange Joe. Yeah. He's here as well. Looking yeah. dapper as always. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got some amazing wearables. Uh, he's a super skilled and, and talented creator in the space. That's I mean, there's so many really awesome ones. I mean, I think Doki is a goddess. Oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Next level. KJ Walker, you gotta you gotta mention KJ in anything Decentraland 3D. Absolutely, uh, a legend. Yeah, I mean, Her Herodikai is legendary. Um, yeah. <laughs> The first t shirt I ever made was a Herodokai tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> I mean there's there's Herodokai wearables here in the crowd, you know, and um he's not he, I don't know if he's been acknowledged at all today, but um he's OG man. He's inspired a lot of people. Yeah, absolutely. Not just with his wearables, but also with how much he gave back to the community back in the day. Uh you haven't seen much of him or I don't know if he's still active as um as a reviewer. But I, when I first came into the space, he was uh, hugely active, and um, both in making making his artwork for his gallery as well as his amazing wearables. I have to give a shout out to Grimy and Kirzaz too. Those those two mm -hmm. both helped me in moments of crisis, trying to figure out how to work weight painting or or uh, whatever issue I was having. Like this, the body paint wearable on display was a total total nightmare it was really really hard to figure out i i um in october decided all right i'm gonna make a wearable and i started making a t-shirt and i finished the t-shirt and i was like why am i making a t-shirt when i can make anything i want for the same price so i was like i'm gonna make a body painting and so then i started tackling the body painting and holy cow <laughs> that was hard if i if i could do it over it would be so much easier now that i know what i know but i was straight up making that from scratch you know and then um it took three months to get approved and it all worked out in my best interest but um before that one was approved i had like three three at least three wearables approved before it the two jean jackets my glasses i remember that yeah you know and i think the crop top too okay. came out before it the crop top is special though i wanted to Include yeah. it here because I just like a week or two ago. It like comes up and then it, it disappears. Had a lot of issues that I didn't understand back call. then. You know, call. like the normals yeah, were nice. flipped inside out on the inside, mm -hmm. and then the belly button ring. I couldn't figure out how to make it glow properly, so I added the glow finally, and so now you can 
now you can look up the crop top and it looks like you're really looking up a crop top that's perfect that was the only thing that was missing was people being able to look up my crop top so thank you Rustat. yeah you're welcome <laughs> yes thank you Rustat. i also appreciate this <laughs> What are you saying, but I, keep it, I keep oh it fair, God. though. I keep it fair, like my red rock pants, you know? That was, like, pretty special on the ladies, but I couldn't have them let them have all the love, so I had to push my cucumber up there. Oh, my gosh. It passed oh, no. so quickly. Poor, poor, I heard that poor Black Node could not have nipples on his latex suit, but well, you have... Let's all keep it all between us, because I don't think they noticed the cucumber when they approved it. Oh, my gosh. All, I said, was, hey, all I said was, hey, I made a small update to the pants. Can you please push it? Maybe we'll have to, we'll have to tell Black Note to do that, too. <laughs> words to live by, and I think perfect words to end on. Never ask permission. This is the... This is the lesson that Uncle Rustan has for us today. Our job's on to take a group photo, so we should uh, line up for a group photo for us if we can. Sure, yeah, where do we go? I think Odd wants us to go down into the auditorium, like downstairs yes. where okay. the blue steps are, and then face the <laughs> tree. Okay, um, that's great. We can... Um, kind of do the baby doll awards i'm hoping that all the creators are here and uh yeah. we can take a few minutes and then get into that what do you think horace yeah to totally so uh, pause if you can hear me uh, while i'm wonderful. streaming i'm sure your dms aren't popping up but i sent you all the awards there so we can have them on screen all right yeah i got you yeah okay so where are we doing the group photo i'm looking at it, the giving tree yeah, so come down to, like, the, the main floor where the blue steps are facing the screen. Uh, like the okay, okay. Kind of yeah. area. And then you'll here, see guys. Giving Tree, so face face the way Giving Tree. Face towards Giving Tree, I should say. So people are already lining up there, but I will stand to the rightmost side that's going to be in the shot. And then, um, Bubbles, if you could stand to the left. So if everybody's... Um, you could be up on the, I think this is blue, colorblind guy, but um, is it purple, the, the steps here? It's intentionally yeah, vague. <laughs> yeah. It's like uh, a metallic it's, purpley blue. Okay, so, uh, yeah, you could stand on this, or you could stand on the red part. Um, I can reposition Giving Tree, but, um, yeah, if we if we just stand up on the steps and have Let about, have like... Far, Oh, just uh, like up, half a pace apart from each other. That way we can see people behind you. Because um, if everybody lines up shoulder to shoulder in the front row, then we'll only see the heads of the people behind you. So we've got plenty of room. I'll let you know uh, just a second, CK. Thank you. Yeah, you can actually go further to, the, to your left, CK, if you want to. And people can come up to where I am on the first level. KAC, you're perfect. Yeah, Murph Justic, you look great. Can you see me on the other side of Murph? Yeah, I can see you. Yep. Making the, making so, the Neo, why don't you come over by me? Shark. Just to encourage people. Come on down, people. It's like, this isn't church. You can come in the front row. I love I love this vantage point, Horace. Just thank you, Horace. Thank you for setting a good example for the class. Um, I love this because um, this really showcases the spaceship nature of your build it's just fabulous okay so people in the back um i can't see yeah thank you tang uh delton you're i'm not gonna see you very well because you're way back there so come on up here thank you thank you dcash C can you tell that odd job has been a teacher <laughs> I mean, I could get, I could get 30, oh uh, God, you know, six-year-olds so all. <laughs> yeah, so what are we doing, people? Come on, get it together. Or can you tell that Odd's been lining us up for group photos every Monday? <laughs> like, <always. laughs> okay, let me just reposition a little bit. You moved forward down, CK, so I'm you're like a little... I know, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. No, that's all right. I can, I can back up, but if I, I've got a super wide uh, angle... Okay, okay. Um, okay, yeah, because I want to be, be this close. Okay, so everybody, like, turn.
turn, get in first person. Look at Mac. You, Mac, you're just like, pose, pose. Uh, if you get in first person, and then turn your uh, avatar so it's like looking right at Giving Tree. Otherwise, with as wide an angle this is, it's gonna look like everybody's looking off to right. wherever. So try to accentuate looking towards Giving Tree. Hi, Lolo. It's so nice to see you. Hey, Biometa. Okay, cool. Who's that back there? Is that Gary back there? Is Gary here? Manadi, come on up front. Come on down to the to the red yeah, floor where yeah, more um, people get on the red level. Get on the red level and you'll be come on, seriously. It's not lava. You'll be like twice as big. Okay, I'm gonna start taking snaps. So what I usually do, this is for the people out there that are aspiring artists. I'll take a picture with everybody's name on so I get I can tag everybody. But then I turn it off so that I don't um, obscure anybody's beautiful, um, beautiful bling. Okay. But we got the oh, names. Oh, shit, I did not mean to do that. What's that? <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> love it, love it. Okay. Um, actually, Biometa, can you go back a little bit? And um, let's see, who else is that? Who's that beside me? Um, Lolo, you're a little too far forward. Can you back up towards the steps? You don't have to go up on the steps, Lolo, but, um, yeah, there you go. Can you see Neo to my left? No. I see Neo. part of Neo. Yeah, Neo, you need to go, uh, because I'm the furthest left you can be, so don't be on my left. You need to be either behind me or... Build. I don't see anybody moving. I, crashed? Crashed? <laughs> I think when enough people jump at the same time, like it kind of makes no one move visibly. <laughs> so nobody is, everybody is seeing themselves, only the one moving? No, I see. Yeah, that. that's the lazy loader for you, I think. I see some people jumping, but. You don't see me jumping, I swear to God. I see lots of people okay. jumping. Are you posing, Horace? I can't see you posing. Let's go. Mad love for the Twitch stream. Love you guys. Thank you for tuning in and hanging out with us tonight. It's a lot of fun. Okay, last request, everybody. Oh, thank you for the for the Talia emote. Um, could we all just throw up some hearts? Just hit that um, that B seven and just share the love, please. Doing this earlier, but okay. Can I just say I don't like the Let's brown Let's go, Saiku. Thank yeah, you. What, what's up with that? Appreciate you. Just don't even it's have the, it in there. The Always DM line, me when you got something brown. going on. DM me, I'll it. be there. Oh, okay. okay. If I can, if I can, I can't I guarantee a hundred percent, but please let I me know. Blow up my like, DMs. I'm yeah, sorry, no, it's, it's like if that. you look at the we'll get meta party vibes flag, there. It's the regular rainbow, and then in like there's like a triangle of black, brown, and then the trans pride color, the blue, pink, white. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so beautiful. <laughs> so many hearts. Like <laughs> this is, this is so <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Do you know how much love I feel right now? Aww, yeah. You know the song. Um, and I've said this on Spaces before, so I don't care. I'll say it again. Um, but it's from Les Miserables, A Heart Full of Love. Oh, my I thought you were going to say playing with the boys from Top Gun. <laughs> no, no, no. It's um, a heart full of love. To love another person is to see the face of God. And I just feel so much love for you all right now okay i think we've got life. our picture in these many photos so thank you all very much awesome whoa awesome awesome um i'll post them here in the hey, universe fashion week um <laughs> great and then you guys can tweet it officially uh do whatever you want to do um, but thank, thank you all you very so much. much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Ajab. That's awesome. All right, I guess we can move on to the 
Baby Doll Awards now that everyone's right here already. Baby Doll Awards! What a night. Okay, Horace, what do you, what do you need to, do we need to set anything up? Uh, I'm just messaging Paras right now. All right. And some of you guys may remember that at Metaverse Fashion Week, we had a little thing called the Baby Doll Awards. So we brought it back for this event, and uh, we hope you'll agree with the decisions that our learned panel of judges... Oh, I'm ready to flip out. It took a lot of time to put these awards together. <laughs> they will all be dropped oh off as uh, a trophy NFT for the creators who have I'm won. about to Will Smith somebody. <laughs> I stand by. But to yeah, Kanye we, this we, mic we, real quick. Can, Let y'all finish. We'll, we'll have to do these Beyonce. Quickly, so, uh, Betty Beyonce. Should have won. Uh, That's yeah, all I'm going to say. Yeah, our, Betty Beyonce had the best course. dance moves of all time. Betty Beyonce. Yeah, I'm ready whenever you guys are. Deserve that award. Not Taylor Swift. Okay. Get me started. Uh, Hang us a list of winners. Right. On Look at this mustache. Do oh. you think I'm playing? You think I'm playing? I must ask you a question. I must ask you a question. You think I'm playing? Oh, wow. She's got her earbuds in. Don't bother me. So I'm just vibing to my own sound. Giving tree is a uh, giving. It's it's giving. It's giving group. It's giving. <laughs> it's giving. Uh, I am group. What's going on? <laughs> That's a lot of pictures, um, but hopefully there's a good shot in there. And down towards the bottom, there's more of your build in there, Horace. So I hope we can find a nice one. Awesome. Yeah, I'm sure there's a good one. Okay, I see all the awards here and the other thing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. Pars, are you able to bring up the awards on the screen? Uh, yeah, we do them one by one. Yeah, so we'll start oh, with the, the, awards on the, screen. Uh, the first award. Uh, I guess I'll just start here. So before we do this and move into Gucci Toe's party, I just want to thank everyone for coming out. It's been really awesome having everyone here and sharing in our experience together and showing off our, our skills and what we can do. And hopefully in the future, we can just make it bigger and better and just keep on improving. So yeah, I, I really appreciate everyone being here. With that being said, we'll move into our first award. Uh, last time we did Baby Dolls Awards, Tang was just saying was back in March. So for this series, our first award is Bell of the Ball. Are you able to put that one up on screen, Pars? Tang, do you want to maybe just, I think you did already a little bit, just explain kind of the idea of the baby doll? Hey. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just some fun awards that uh, we love to give out as um, just a fun way to celebrate some of the creativity hey. in in uh, in Decentraland and in the wearables market. We had a good time with it last time. So uh, Bell of the Ball Award goes to... Um, Cyclopa, of course. I don't know if Cyclopa is with us today, <laughs> but uh, if he if he is, he and if you've seen his wearables, you'd know exactly why he gets the Bell of the Ball Award. Congratulations, Cyclopa! <laughs> yeah, the giant I, bell. I think I'm just gonna go through them. Does that uh, is that better? I don't see anything on on the screen, so it's what showing up. Oh, okay, I, I do see them on screen. You do see them on yeah, screen? yeah, yeah. But yeah, we yeah, can just go through them as order. Yeah, just go through. I think one. even my order is wrong, so uh, <laughs> maybe you guys, if you see it, can go through it. Okay, they're alphabetical on mine, so... If, <laughs> they're not so, on mine. <laughs> so for me, the next one is Best Booty, if you want. Best you want Booty? Put that one up on the screen, Paris, and the winner goes to... Of course, it's Rustan. <laughs> <laughs> the oh. Best Booty in the I mean, I think you won a similar award hey. uh, last time. So you're, Appreciate you're the you. reading champion. Let's go. Guys. We have He's fun. We have a lot of fun. So get your, get your booties bumping. I just love that there's a giant screen with an award that says best. I'm going to grab the mic. I'm going to Kanye it real quick. They, they better recognize. 
<laughs> Betty Beyonce. All right, that's a great one. Okay, so moving. We we do have to kind of go quick through these. I don't mean to there, just kind of skip over, but yeah, uh, Gucci's coming up. Our our next one we have here. Uh, Y'all are troopers. Fanny. I don't know what that could be, but <laughs> I'm sure that <laughs> Fanny it's gotta be the Meta Fanny Jewel. is the female. Um, oh. Oh. Hey, I had nothing to do with these awards. <laughs> Meta Jewel's no. got the award for best fanny. Yeah. She is not here right now, so I will accept the best fanny award on oh. her behalf. <laughs> that, that seemed a little played. <laughs> yeah. She Just has done some amazing wearables, and she deserves the best fanny award. That uh, means that I'm supposed to dance with you, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, Meta Jewels, but you can dance with me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Just, did that one pop up on screen for a sec? I think it did. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So our next award, best newcomer. Okay. The best newcomer, best, newcomer. best newcomer to the scene is Diverge. I don't know if Diverge is here, but they've made some uh, incredible bags, and they had a really great party a couple of weeks ago. Um, we're super happy that they're here in Decentraland making their mark. So they've got the Best Newcomer Award. Yay, Diverge. Yes, excellent. Backpacks are definitely cool. I've seen people running around with them. Purses oh. are cool, too. Really nice. These swords, yeah, man. Like, like what is up with swords? Okay, so Diverge wins best newcomer. Moving on, we have right. the Crown Jewel Award. The Crown Jewel. The Crown Jewel Award goes to Virtual. Where's Michael Scott? Virtual. Hey. Uh, he's made the Dundies. Some pieces in the space, and it was awesome getting to know him a little bit more today. Sorry. Pars, we need like a. Uh, Am I the only one that's hearing that? I just know that. that. Is that in game or? <laughs> no, that was uh, Jay, Jay Summers in, in the Discord, so I just muted him. Thank you. Carry, carry on. <laughs> uh, okay, sorry about that. Uh, Crown Jewel Award, yeah, that goes to Virtual, which I think totally fitting, makes sense, awesome. Uh, what else we got here? Next one, moving on, we have DCL Drippiest. That's got to go to Meta Drip. Oh, Meta Drip. Yeah, they have the cool display under the stairs over there. With yeah, they do. I would have liked to have interviewed yeah. everybody. Um, but unfortunately, we had those technical difficulties yesterday, and what, I was not able to get uh, everybody on the list. But um, I would have loved to have talked to Metadrip. They've got some amazing wearables, and definitely DCL drippiest. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, okay. they have some cool stuff coming out soon too. So. Oh, really? Yeah, I think they posted some on Twitter, like, so, and they're working on like a car company for Decentraland. So. What? Nice. Yeah, some pretty cool. crazy stuff. Thanks. All right, the next one, moving on. Shout out, MetaWare Drip. <laughs> I had a good laugh about this I one. Like, okay, Meta the Dreamiest Doctor Award. <laughs> Who do you think this could go to? The Dreamiest Doctor, doctor is Dr. Drip. Drip. He is uh, <laughs> the sexiest medical practitioner <laughs> in Decentraland. Let's I don't go, know doctor if he is Let's here go, right Dr. Now, Drip. But if he was, he could write me any prescription he wants. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> love Dr. Drip. Awesome. Congratulations, Dr. Drip. <laughs> All right. Next one, we have the Foxiest Wearable Award. Foxiest Wearables goes to the one and only Refraction, an incredible wearable that is eye-catching, and uh, everybody loves it. So congratulations, Refraction. No. Foxiest Wearable Foxiest Award Foxiest Wearable. To you. So, like, so what are you wearing tonight? Yes. I'm wearing Refraction. And let's yeah, pop up on screen. Yeah, let's see. Screen stop working, but at least yours yes, awesome. Okay. Congratulations, Refraction. Our next award is the Golden Girl Award. Wow. <laughs> Golden Girl goes to our one and only Goldilocks. It was amazing to hear her for the nice. first time. I have an interview today. I know that she was a little bit nervous, but I think she charmed us all. 
Um, congratulations, Goldilocks. The Golden Girl Award goes to you. Awesome, awesome. Our next winner, I'm going to say the winner first and then the award, just to switch okay. it up. All right. We have our next winner is Parzival Kazuto with the Golden... <laughs> I think it's a Golden Sneaker Award, but what I have written nice. is Golden Seneca Award. So <laughs> the Golden oh Seneca God. Award goes to Parzival Kazuto. Awesome. I'll take either one. <laughs> Congratulations, Parzival. Golden Sneaker Award for you. Yeah. And to a, to a bright and golden sneaker for you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Our next one moving on is Lady Choice. This can only go to... Ladies' Choice. It's Sultry Dubs, of course. She is a, She's a girl's girl. The designer for the ladies. We all love her. Awesome. Congratulations, Sultry. We need to uh, code in, like, being able to hand people trophies in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Even a round of applause, like you were saying. Yeah, you were. yeah. <laughs> Paris, get, we need those applause, applause, right right applause sound effects. You gotta have the you have the band to play them off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll, have, we'll have a soundboard on the next one. Yeah. Great. All right. Our next award goes to. I mean, this one's self-explanatory. It's just called Mofia. The Mofia Award <laughs> yeah. obviously goes to Stony. Mofia, Mofia. Oh, they spell it different. Sultry and Stony. Okay, so this is the power the couple of the right now. The I mean, this is, is gold. Mofia to Stony. Yeah, I don't think I got to see. Oh, he's there, Stony. What's up? I see him right over there on the right hand side. Well, that's not how I first saw it. I don't. It's a made-up word. All right, moving on to our happens. next award, we have the most elegant award. The most elegant award goes to Digifun. They have the brought their uh, high, oh, their high fashion style to Decentraland and uh, just made us a more beautiful place. And and I think given wearables designers something to aspire to. So I'm particularly talking about their work with Yaping Chen and the Five Element dresses. Amazing. Most elegant is you know I should. <laughs> Not even enough words to describe what they did. <laughs> yeah, it's great. I think this, they, they make a, uh, a great impact on people who come into the build here. Those are the first things that they see, I think. Yeah, they can say, we're not playing. <laughs> yeah. All right. Excuse me. Uh, moving on to our next take the mic. We have... Hold up. Hold up. Betty Beyonce, Beyonce. alright, <laughs> wins her <laughs> award. Really Lisa Sabat's gonna be like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Meta Wear Drip you know, is actually Meta Wear Drip. Was it's actually the Mr. drippiest. Mr. Inferno are the hottest wearables in the Decentral. Mm. 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 My man. Give me that mic. Alright, <laughs> what do we got next? Actually, Give me that mic. Awesome. Alright, Betty Beyonce. This award was a lot, obviously. Where's her award? Where is tell. her award? I swear that. Actually, I'm not even wearing any. What am I right talking about? I thought I was wearing the jacket. Right? <laughs> I just but if you haven't seen it, go check out the jacket. Over there. The hey, so next where's the mic? Board. Where's the mic? I'm gonna grab the mic. We have. Which one is it? Oh Give me my Kanye the moment. The nail art divas. This goes to two people. Oh. Yeah, CK Bubbles and Mana Dakri. Nail hey. art divas. Oh man. By giving us. Uh, long and uh, interesting Eva. nails. Go up and get your award. Here in Decentral, and I see Mana and Fermion are doing their usual fist pumping. That would be really cool. Right? Uh, but this time it's, it's for celebration. <laughs> yeah, that's my only one request Go for Decentral and devs. If uh, anyone happens to be listening, so I want to do the fist bump as a male avatar, okay? Because. We can't do the fist bump and join in with their... I, I totally yeah, agree. Yeah. I, I even went so far... Avatar. Sorry. I just even went so far as to, like, change into a female avatar just so I can do the fist bump with Mana <laughs> and Fermi and, and all the rest. Yeah, but we can make the heart with our hands. Yeah. Yeah. No. Ah, uh, wait. Can, uh, only we can do that? Only the guys can do that. Yeah. Ah, uh, I guess I need to get that emote. I don't think I have it. Why? So you can gloat? Yes. Gloat over me. Yes. Can I get Dancing Queen award? Oh, <laughs> the gloating award. Could, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't think we're getting any. The award 
is called out, out of this world. Out there, that police better go grab that mic. Be like, Oh, I better get the most colorful. Definite cash. She better get the dancing. Definite cash. Out of this world award. They were in the space wearable. yesterday. Mm. Totally. Check out their wearable on the roof. The That's right, because when Blaze has wearable, our next game, over. game over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> our next game award, game we just have like wearable. five or six left here, and then we'll get into the after party. Our next award is... The randomizer expert. The UMAC. randomizer expert. Who could it be? It's UMAC. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Yay. UMAC. For, Let's go, uh, UMAC. Bringing randomizer, randomizer fashion to Decentraland. <laughs> <laughs> An award for you. Congrats. Our rising star baby doll award goes to Super Nina. <laughs> Is she still here? I think, yeah, I see her. Possibly, she's a yeah, I do see star. Her. She's, you know, she's got stars in her eyes, stars and moons aura. I think that um, she's going to bring a lot to the space, and she's only just getting started. Congrats, Nina. Nice. Totally. Yeah, I really appreciate the emotes, too, that we were able to use for the, the entranceway and stuff. Amazing. Really cool. She's always down to contribute. Our next award, getting a little risky sexiest with the Sexiest Tentacles, tentacles Award. <laughs> sexiest Tentacles Animator Award? Kirk. <laughs> has, has he been here yet? Is he here? I don't know if anybody's seen his... Uh, All day today, he was standing as a statue beside his display. So I don't think he's here now, but he was he was representing all day. Well, I hope he appreciates the award. We, we appreciate yeah. his, his um, appropriately placed tentacles. <laughs> the Picasso Award. This one Ooh. goes to the one and only Michi Todd, the artist of the space. Uh, we all look up to you. You're an inspiration to all of us. You're a legend. Thank you, Michi Todd. Congratulations. Yes, thank you, thank you. Um, the wildest wearables award goes to another newcomer making a huge impact in the space. It's Neha. From Wilderness. No, they said five or six. Well, oh, I didn't even realize they were new. Their wearables are so good. Yeah, I, I thought they had been rough. Tough. Oh. Um, yeah, amazing wearables. They have a really, really cool collection. Oh, yeah, is it alphabetical cool. order of the award? I'm not sure she's here right now, but congratulations. Oh. Our last award oh. of the night before That's we get into our after party and everyone can well, he did say meet up on the roof and hang out. <laughs> our last award goes to... Well, it's called Wearable Wizardry. Who could this go to? This is another double award, and it's going to Mr. J and Mr. W. They're bringing their magic, their fantasy to Decentraland. Hey, Fantastic I got a Mr. J, Mr. W. Mr. J, wearable. Mr. W. I, I wish they were here the, tonight. The legs yesterday but I will accept this award on their yes, behalf. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Since there are two, I will accept ah. the other award. <laughs> Perfect. You and I can share. Sure. Uh, thank you, everybody, <laughs> for um, being with us tonight. Season. And uh, <laughs> you're such an inspiration to, to the baby dolls, to all of us. Um, we're just happy to have a little bit of fun with you guys. Now it's time for the after party. Yeah, totally. Oh, I, totally. See some I really happy. appreciate I see everyone coming happy. out. I see y'all. And hopefully we can have another another event here soon right, once guys. we... It ain't a party without an after we, party. Um, yeah, get together and start planning something new. All right, let's go Gucci Toe. Uh, this build should be here for another few days, I think, at least. And... Yeah, everyone meet up on the oh, roof. Yeah. If you need VIP to get into the VIP <laughs> spot, just let us know and we can let you in custom. And yeah, away we go. Thank you everyone for away coming. Pars, if you could end the stream so Gucci could start. We might need to refresh. Uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for coming. See you guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> Feel free to stay in the Discord too and chat if you want. I don't know if you want. Go to Twitter space or something. All right, I got the stream ended. Okay, cool. Thank cool, you. Cool. Cool. Thanks, but I'm gonna log off for a bit and, and job, uh, see if Gucci's set up. <laughs> yes. Go to bed, Tank. <laughs> yep. Yep. I'm here. I'm, my dog. I'm on the West Coast. It's not even seven eight. It's oh nine yeah. PM here. <laughs> well, awesome job today. Mhm. Mm you too. Yeah, I get you.
job, guys. Good sheet, guys. Awesome, awesome. That was fun. Fun being here with all of you. Yeah, good job Let's on go everything. Really, all around. Yeah, everyone on the team helped. CK mm -hmm. Bubbles and Madamus. Zesty working overtime as the bouncer. Yeah. <laughs> Zesty just... Hey guys, thank you for the amazing session. It's Biometa. It was super, super dope today. It was amazing. I kid you not. Horace, thank you guys. Tank Poco, you guys killed it today. Amazing thanks, show. Bio. Thanks for being here with us. Yeah. Anytime, anytime. anytime. It was a pleasure. Love you guys. I'll see you guys over in Baby Dolls. I'm going to go get something to eat real quick. See you later. See you later. And since my name got invoked Beetlejuice style, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wait, hey, is I'm the after sure. party at Baby I'm, Dolls? I'm, 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 Anyway, um, I do need to leave and get back to work, but thanks again, guys. You guys have a good night. Good night, Yeah, Jeff. thanks for coming, man. Hey, yeah, great job, Jeff. I've never heard his mic so low before. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Either. Love you. Bye, Soul Tree. Bye, Bye Soul Tree. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Have a good night. Thank you for coming. She's so awesome. Actually, sorry, I'm going to the party. <laughs> I was just saying bye. I was just saying bye here. Oh. <laughs> okay, see you soon. Yeah. Okay, yeah. See you in two seconds. Damn, y'all, I don't even have, I don't even have my video clip. I don't know if I'm going to use it. Did you restart? I, I'm going to. I see Gucci. I, he is playing. Everybody refresh, and you'll see him, too. Yo. Awesome. Clarification question. Um, mm -hmm. I posted a lot of pictures in here, and people are like, there's too many pictures there. Where would you like me to post the pictures? Who <laughs> said there's too many pictures in there? I don't know. I'm just what? trying to. You can what? post as job. much as you want in the Fashion Week Discord. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. What? Photo I, got, I got every single award uh, with crowd in the foreground and the award in the background. Oh, amazing. Awesome. I'll Thank post you. This. Awesome. Oh. Yeah. You, you guys, guys you guys are wonderful. Thank you so much for putting this together. Thank you for finding sponsorship. Thank you for finding employment for people uh, in the community. Yeah, this was just stellar, stellar job. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Thank you, AJ. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate taking my photos. On that note, I do want to say there was a lot of volunteer work into this to, to make it happen from a lot of people. So I do appreciate that for sure. Get up to the roof. The blue arrow by the main oh. entrance. <laughs> I always forget. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should side. have a blue arrow pointing to the blue arrow, and then <laughs> it'll be more obvious. I think I've asked so many times. <laughs> Horace, I love how we're both being models for the bolt by the display <laughs> of the bolt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, let me come over there. I got my then. So I don't actually hear any music, why? Yeah. I have my tab muted. I mean, but see. I don't have my tab muted. Okay, I'm not yeah, I don't hear anything, anything, but I see, I do see Gucci. I think, yeah, they see Gucci kind of messing around on the screen. I think he, he realizes. Yeah, I got video, no audio. Same, I have video. trouble with VIP, I'm going to be watching in-game chat more so than uh, general chat on this server. I've got another thing I've been juggling, and uh, I need to go back to that, but Gucci's music in the background will be just fine for that. Like, I actually had to leave, like, a days-long Discord VC just to be here for this little bit. A day long. No, dude, it, it's like, it started like Friday, and it doesn't it, end until Sunday afternoon. It's a hacking marathon, is that what it is? Or? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> we're breaking all the, we're breaking into all the Gibsons. Not really. <laughs> that sounds convincing. We're doing it, not really. I swear. I'll slide into your DMs about that, Horace. You're a bro, I'll, I'll tell you what's up. Uh, yeah, I think... I think Gucci is having some issues, but if yeah, if anyone does need VIP, there's a bunch of us who can can do it. Yeah, if I, it, yeah, if, I, if I'm not like 
you know, breaking into the nearest Whopper, then uh, I can assign VIP. Just mention it in in-game chat and I'll hook it up. weird about the audio i've let him know that we can't hear it i don't know if it's on his side or our side though is there any way we can look into that yeah i'm going to his I'm discord uh, can I we will... just hear it here in discord he said his inputs got changed and it should be good now but i still don't hear it so i'm going to refresh okay let's refresh start his stream it should be good now if everyone refreshes I'll, okay. I'll make the announcement there must have been an update because the same thing happened to me there it is. you refreshing you said you got a refresh Oh wow, there's still so many people in this chat, I didn't realize. <laughs> yeah. Hello, hello. Good night, Chad. Okay, Good night, buddy. Yeah. I'll let Gucci know it's Good over night. Again. Thank right, you, you so much for hanging out. <laughs> I just want to eat something and then I'm going to come back and dance with y'all. What is up, okay, everybody? Right, this was great. Um, Horace, it's nice to. Uh, get to hear from you. What is up, Tang? What's up, CK? This was great. Great interviews, by the way, too, Tang. Good stuff. <laughs> and love the awards. Oh, thank you so much. This is my first time doing interviewing. No, it's not. I don't believe that for a second. You're a professional. <laughs> okay. You've been the subject of interviews before, but I think, I think this is your first time as an interviewer. Well, I guess I did something with Beyond the with with Sinful for Beyond the NFT. But that was a while ago. I feel like I need to develop a game show just to cast you as the as the host. main part. Yeah. Oh, we sh we should do that, Horace. <laughs> we should do that. Let's talk about that. I've got some ideas. I gotta jump from voice, but thank y'all. Talk to you later. Bye. Yeah, I'm gonna jump to you and get some snacks. I'll be back. Bye. Well, we're still hanging out here. Hey, the Gucci toe. Hopefully Gucci toe plays now. Here we go. Here we go. It's an amazing build. And oh, so yeah. we got sound. We got some audio. Let's go. Let's do some music. Here we go. to listen to see what he's playing because I don't alright we got some undertones and sound let's go
Let's move the set, everybody. some award winners out here. We got some award winners out here. Yes, we do. This is the after party. VIP. VIP. We got our VIP passes.
and the geese are told. This is the last time I'm going to try to refresh. That was a cool shot, huh? That was cool. That was cool. Take all my money, Billy. Wow. Take all my money, Billy. Wow. Take all my money, Jason Billy. Jason Summers <laughs> coming all, through. Take all my money, Billy. with the skateboard. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Big shout out to Gucci Toe. Gotta be my favorite DCL DJ. You man, let's go. It's lit. <laughs> yes. Pop, log, and drop it. Pop, log, and drop it. That's how you know he's had one too many. That's how you know. What? That's how you know he's had one too many. 
Ginobili since I've won too many when he starts to pop, lock, and drop it. Guys, I'm coming, I'm coming. Give it to me. <laughs> Our dog has been snoring for the past three hours. <laughs> Our dog said, screw this. <laughs> Give me sleepy test. video just exploded just out of nowhere hell yeah so that is what they're talking about with these shorts it, yeah just exploded out of nowhere well that's just, what is that gonna keep them going keep them coming all right all right you too come here gary v i'm after you i'm after you gary Refresh, close out of the browser, about wow. 10 times. Wow, that's it? You better, yeah. you better do a YouTube video on that. We now have music. Holy cow. I almost want you to want to go upstairs. I'm serious. Oh, there you go. Wow. Finally. old guy on Twitter.
right, old guy. What is good, old guy? Just rip it. It's our remix. They're coming for us, y'all. take this till 11 o'clock. Respect to Horus though, I mean. Appreciate everyone hanging out with us this Saturday night. Thank you so much. Check out Bleast.com if you haven't already.
this was a really fun, fun weekend. Thank you to everyone involved. This was great. It's 11 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock. It's so hard to leave. Go day bed out here slaying old guy looking snazzy as always Shaw with the purple pants I love the purple pants Crypto Q man repping the metaware drip love to see it Oh the tie dye pants big W big W I do like um, spatial and how I can rotate spatial view and move at the same time. Swayze, alright. Loving the purple vibes. Let's go. Is just stuck on it. <laughs> Madam is went to bed. Catch you on the flip side. Thank you so much for watching these videos, taking the time. There's nothing more precious than your time, and we truly value that. And we value that you watch this all the way through. Check out more at Bleece.com, the home of Bleece Livestream HQ. And the Meta Party Vibes. Check out the eco-friendly, clean NFT collection on Object.com on the Tezos blockchain. It's free to support artists. A like, a share goes a long way. We would love to support you in any way we can. Follow for follow on all socials at B-L-E-A-C-E-N-F-T, Bleece NFT, and Colorful Designs colorful with a K designs. Let's go further together.